back to Adobe Live. My name is Melody, I am your host, and I'm back with day two with Brittany Yurick. Hi. Yay! So Happy excited. to be here. Yay. Happy to have you back. Yesterday yeah. was really fun. Yeah. Um, I'm excited to see where you're going to take your designs today with your hiking app. Yeah. It'll be really fun. And yeah, a big hello to everyone joining us in the chat. Hi, Munir, Florin, Anna, Iv, Elvis. Hello, Sam, Agnes, Paco, Haley, and Howard. Yay. So excited to have you all here. Um, today is going to be a really exciting stream. Um, also, if you haven't heard, there's been a new XD update, update number 20. So if you haven't updated your XD, you should do that right now. There's some cool features which I can show right now. Um, if we switch over to my screen. Um, so there is going to be a property inspector when you're doing prototype mode, which is really cool. Uh, actually, let me go. This is the article that kind of talks about all the updates, but um, there is, so when you're in prototype mode, you can actually see all of the things that you would see when you are in this section right here instead of having it pop up. So that's really nice and you can do a lot of things at once with prototype mode. And there's also a plugin section right here under um, the assets panel and the layers panel, which is really handy. And there's also subscript and superscript text, which is really cool. So show that really fast but um, if you check out if you go to Howard's website letsxc.com he has a video talking about all the new features but if you click right here you can do subscript or superscript which is really awesome and some great features and if you head over to Twitter this link was tweeted on the Adobe XD Twitter and you can read about all the plugins and there's videos and everything so I wanted to share that really fast um, also, to everyone in the chat, we are doing a chat and win giveaway again in about 30 minutes. And all you have to do to enter is be active in the chat. And if you have any design questions or if you have any ideas for the hiking app, please let us know and you'll be entered to win 100 free stickers from Sticker Mule. Woo! -hoo! So that's a really awesome prize. And yeah, so one person will be selected randomly to get 100 custom stickers. And that'll be really awesome. And also later on in our stream, we're going to be reviewing your challenge or your designs from the first day of the XD Daily Creative Challenge. So if you missed Andrea's video, you can go watch that. Or if you head over to behance.net slash challenge slash XD, you can find day one, which is to design a home screen for a music creation app. And we will be reviewing your designs over on Discord. Yeah. So I'm really excited. So stay tuned for that. And should be super fun. Yeah, it'll be really fun and exciting and I can't wait. And yeah, so we can pass it over to Brittany if you want to yeah. introduce yourself to anyone that's just joining us. Yeah, um, so for those of you guys that were here uh, yesterday, um, you already know I'm Brittany Urich, but for anyone else that's joining, I'm still Brittany Urich. <laughs> <laughs> so I am an experienced designer and content strategist. Um, yesterday we did a couple fun facts about myself, um, so maybe you all can drop some fun facts in the chat, so maybe like your name and where you're from uh, would be mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. I'll fly through my uh, recap from yesterday and then mm -hmm. we can see where everyone's yeah. dialing in from. Um, so fun fact number one, I bleed green and white. I am a third generation uh, Michigan State University Spartan, named my dog after our basketball coach Tom Izzo, mm -hmm. sort of a big deal in my family. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, went to uh, Michigan State to get a degree in what was called professional writing. So I thought that I was going to be a writer or editor at a magazine in the big city of New mm. York for the longest time. <laughs> um, I ended up actually taking a lot of classes in content strategy and information architecture and um, Adobe InDesign and Illustrator and found out that I fell in love with design. Um, so my junior year of college, uh, one of my friends Zoe and I created an app um, to help people find sort of their like group on campus. So anyone can create an event, anyone can go to that event, um, and it was just a big way to connect to the community. And so I decided I really wanted to turn this whole designing an app thing into a career. So here I am. Awesome. Um, Right now, I live in Colorado and work at Ogilvy, and that's where I get to do a little bit of hybrid experience design and content strategy, which has been really, really fun. Um, I'm part of our specialty experience design practice, so while Ogilvy has a ton of different capabilities like SEO, PR, um, social media, um, influencing and all that sort of stuff, um, I work within the experience design capability. Um, and that includes research, data strategy, um, experience strategy and design, uh, creative tech, and content strategy. So we really span pretty much all of the different aspects of experience design, which is something that I love about working there. 
Um, and then fun fact four, my last fun fact. Um, <laughs> I am a huge advocate for integrating content strategy and UX design. Um, I speak and host workshops around the country about the importance of thinking about content first uh, when you're designing and thinking about how design and content are sort of an iterative process. So Melody and I talked mm -hmm. a lot about that yesterday. Yes, She's did. got a background <laughs> in content strategy yeah. too. So we'll be sort of taking more of a content focused approach to our designs today, mm -hmm. which should be Yay, pretty fun. I'm excited. Yeah. Yay. We have people tuning in from I think KC, is that Kansas City? I think Kansas I think, City, right? Yeah. And then Istanbul, Washington, DC, India, Dominique from Atlanta, Georgia, Chris from Portlandia, that's awesome, Vermont, yeah. Holland, is, it, is MI Michigan. Michigan? Okay. It is. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. I always get that mixed up. Yeah. And then Anna from Colorado, and ooh, Paul Traney is in the house. Paul is also from Colorado. Hey. <laughs> Howard says, saying Colorado summons Paul. <laughs> That's funny. Yay. Oh, looks like we have cool. a ton of people. Yeah, awesome. Um, so, thanks for the recap, Brittany. What are you and Melody doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad everyone in the chat has yes. asked me this question ahead of time. I didn't prepare. Um, so yesterday, um, we did sort of a project intro, um, what we're going to be doing. We're building a hiking app. Um, so a lot of hiking apps out mm. there today like exist for people that are really avid hikers. But what about those people that just want to spend some time outside? Mm, yeah. What about the melodies of the like world? Like me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we talked about um, that problem, the solution. Uh, we looked at who our users were. And then yesterday we did a little bit of brand expression. Um, and we'll look at that again, but just what does our brand look, sound, and feel like uh, from a content and design perspective. Mm. And then we did some wireframing. Uh, today, we're going to sort of recap this project, um, move our designs into some high fidelity. Um, we're going to talk about design systems, which Ooh, I love. Yay. <laughs> um, and then we're going to talk about all of the features in XD that you can use to create design mm -hmm. systems. Um, we're going to talk about how we identify the components for design systems and then actually how you build them in mm -hmm. XD. Yay. And then uh, we'll be doing some prototyping if we make it there by the end of the day. Ooh, we'll see exciting. How it goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so all that said, let's look at what we're what we're talking about. Um, so, like I said, there are plenty of apps for avid hikers, um, but for users that just want to get outside, uh, filtering through that list of trail names can be really overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be creating an app that recommends hikes for users based on their preferences and feedback. And the more you use it, uh, the better your recommendations become. We sort of talked about three different user types yesterday. So we have the Sam, who we really should have named maybe the Mel. Yeah. Um, that <laughs> I just switch those names. There we go. That yeah. doesn't doesn't get outside um, super often, but enjoys it when they're out there. So they don't really have a car. They don't have mm -hmm. access to you know driving to all these remote trails. So mm -hmm. how do we help them find something close to them? Uh, we have uh, Sam now, <laughs> formerly known as Mel, <laughs> yeah. um, who enjoys hiking but um, isn't quite sure where to go. So this is sort of like me when I first moved to Colorado. I knew I was at the gateway to the outdoors, but mm -hmm. there were so many trails near my house yeah. that I didn't even know where to start. Um, and then we have the Ryans of the world who are basically living in the wilderness yeah. <laughs> and can't wait to share their mm -hmm. expertise with everyone. Um, oh, we asked this question yesterday. <laughs> it seemed like a legit problem. Mm -hmm. When can we start developing? Um, but then we decided we were going to do some brand expression first. So the activity we went through yesterday, for those of you who weren't here, um, is we picked five to seven traits um, from this huge list um, that, of things that we wanted our brand to be and mm -hmm. things we didn't. So we sort of set the bookends. Um, and so we decided that we wanted to be adventurous, bold, friendly, simple, and welcoming. And what we did with that was uh, create what our brand personality is, mm -hmm. right? So we're going to be friendly, but maybe not cheeky, um, adventurous, but not rugged, and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. And then we asked ourselves, um, what do that, or what does that language look like? Um, so we said for onboarding, it might be something like, "Hi, Brittany, uh, let's find the best trails for you," or "We've hit a snag. Please forgive us and try again if you encounter an error." And so all this really just helps us figure out what our brand mm -hmm. is and yeah. should be. Um, and then, thanks to all of you, we decided on the name Trailblazer. Oh, yeah. We had a lot of name suggestions yesterday, which yeah, was awesome. Yeah, and they were great name yeah. suggestions. Um, so we, we ended up with Trailblazer, and then we did a little bit of onboarding yesterday. So we decided that um, we really want this app to be personal and feel mm -hmm. friendly yeah. and welcoming. Mm -hmm. So we decided to ask a couple questions to get to know our users, and then sort of figure out what we would recommend mm -hmm. for them based on that. So we asked, how often do you hike? Um, what are your hiking needs? Uh, what would you like to see on this hike? And what activities do you want users to do? 
So we got through that, and then I think we left off yesterday um, just getting through sort of our two different um, landing pages. So this is probably going to be that home screen, and then this might be a detail page for a hike. So we took a lot of your input, and this is where we landed. Yay. Would you say that's a decent recap? I would say it's a great recap. <laughs> great. <laughs> Yay. I'm glad. Um, it looks like we have a question. Um, was there user research done for this project? Um, thanks for asking, Raphael. There actually wasn't any formal research conducted for this project. Um, this was sort of born from my own problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and we talked about this yesterday, that um, you know, there's a lot of ways you can solve problems via apps or experiences, mm -hmm. but um, sometimes it's just really great to pick a problem that you're having mm -hmm. because that might feel like it's a problem that you can relate to and you can empathize mm -hmm. with a little bit more. So this app was created for me, selfishly, <laughs> because uh, I moved to Colorado. I didn't know any trails that I could actually find mm -hmm. um, or even where to start looking. Yeah. And so I wanted to create something that would just help people get outside and mm -hmm. find somewhere to go. Yeah. Um, so I talked to a couple different people in sort of figured out what those user types might be. There wasn't really like a formal research mm -hmm. process and there yeah. wasn't a formal necessarily like user type creation mm -hmm. like you might do with yeah. some other projects, but it's what we've got. It's what we're working with. <laughs> so yeah. Um, all right, let's hop into what we're doing today. So uh, last night I picked out some icons for us. We might need some more, <laughs> but this is what we've got to work with. And I picked out some colors. Um, and they're all very bright colors. I love those colors. <laughs> um, and we're not going to use all of them. I'm for sure love, love, love this purple. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling sort of like Purple Mountain's Majesty. Kind of like yeah. good mountain color. <laughs> um, and then we've got th sort of these two colors that I think would be great for text mm -hmm. as we move on, yeah. right? So maybe like our headers and then like some body text. Mm -hmm. They're just a little more fun than black. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like you look at black and it's just really, really mm -hmm. harsh and aggressive. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then we've got two options for link types over here. I don't know if you're feeling one of these more than the other. Um, I don't know. We'll don't see. Know. And then we've got some options possibly for icons that we can layer on top of some of these. So we'll, we'll mix it up. We'll yeah. see where we land. We'll see yeah. how it goes. Um, and then I also worked on uh, three different options for that home page. We're still oh. in super low fidelity. <laughs> Um, but I just sort of wanted to get a sense of like what direction we're feeling mm -hmm. like moving yeah. in the next few days. So this is our uh, option one. So we've got sort of a image overlaying, um, sort of the uh, information there. Pretty big mm -hmm. name of hike. Yeah. Um, but we're just sort of downplaying that image and just focusing on the name of the things and you know the three pieces of mm -hmm. information we decided yeah. people wanted to know. Uh, we've got this fun little. Uh, rounded image. I'm thinking maybe that'll just be like a color on the mm -hmm. home page, but in um, that details screen, it might be really cool to have like a shape for that yeah. photo rather than mm -hmm. just like a hard line. Mm -hmm. um, I think for this one, it would probably be this photo would stay that same shape. Mm -hmm. And then we've sort of got this like really large image with just like a big block of information. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking maybe if we're recommending stuff for you, you don't need like 10 or 12. You just want like the two best yeah. things that we're thinking for you. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, could you just drop option one, two, or three in the chat, and we'll just sort of conduct an unofficial poll? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll just see, see how we feel. What number comes up more often, mm -hmm. and then decide. So one is the most here. Yeah. I don't know Maybe how. Maybe we'll just. Oh yeah, you can write underneath it. <laughs> yep. We'll just do some big, big text down there. Anna's saying purple would be fun because it's not super common for outdoor apps. That's True. exactly what I was thinking, Yay. Anna. I think we're trying to, unintentionally, right, break the stereotypes mm -hmm. for outdoor apps over here. And I just, I wanted something that was like fun, felt really unique and fresh, because I feel like a lot of times with these outdoor apps, they're, they're meant for really serious, really avid hikers, and that's mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. It makes total sense. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, that's not what we're going for here. We're going yeah. for people that just want to get outside and have some fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks like we've got... Um, Paul two. says, a trailblazer is a good name in general. Wonder if it will appeal to more advanced hikers mm. and not the Britneys of the world. <laughs> oh, that's not that's not a bad point, yeah. Paul. Okay, so we've we got, got numbers. two, three, two, three, <laughs> two, one, two, two, three. Oh, man, maybe we should have done a <laughs> yeah. poll. One is super fun, but three is easier to digest. Okay. One okay. shows more without scroll. Good mm -hmm. point. Yeah, so that, I guess that goes back to yeah. like, do we do we think that we need to show a bunch of things without scrolling? Mm -hmm. If we're, if this is that for you, that landing yeah. page, maybe you only need like two or three. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know. 
Oh man, we three. totally should have. I'm seeing a lot of threes. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of threes three. here. I okay. Think, I think it's the pic. I think the picture should be like bigger. Mm -hmm. And that's my only like problem with like, this one because mm -hmm. although you can see more, I would kind of want to see what that hike might look like yep. in like a bigger picture. All right. I feel like we're seeing a <laughs> lot of threes in the chat. I think we just go with it. We'll yeah. see how it goes. Um. Just remember, you all led me down this path. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, we'll we'll pull pull our option three down here. See, I'm seeing some more threes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Sam says, "I like that about one. I like seeing more info at a glance." Oh, that's nice. a good point yeah. too. Maybe you know what? Maybe we'll play around with three, and maybe we'll just shrink the height of this a little yeah. bit, and we'll like we'll try to add some more in there, mm -hmm. um, and try to figure that out. Okay. Um, but first and foremost, I think let's hop through some of the onboarding and add some some color to that. Um, as we're talking about this, um, I'll give you guys a quick overview of design systems. Mm -hmm. um, does anyone in uh, the chat know a lot about design systems? Is everybody familiar with them, or do we need to like start from the get go? We can we Maybe can you can do like a quick overview. Yeah. Anyone's. Yeah. So basically, um, design systems are sort of a section of reusable components. Um, that you can use to build anything and everything. Mm -hmm. um, they keep everything a little more balanced, um, a little more consistent between experiences um, because especially you can take them from desktop to tablet to mm -hmm. mobile. Um, so any of the components that you create are reusable across all sorts of different um, screens. Mm -hmm. They might be fitting a little yeah. bit differently um, for desktop and mobile, but if you use a card, you know the drop shadow is going to be sa the same, the border is going to mm -hmm. be the same, everything yeah. is consistent. Um, so with XD, um, you can see sort of in my assets uh, window over here, um, I've already dropped some of the colors that we talked about earlier into here, mm -hmm. um, but you can also drop in character styles and then build your own components. So I've built this tab bar down here and dropped it in as nice. a component there. Yeah. Yay. So it just makes designing a little bit faster. You're not copying and pasting everything. Um, you can also see there's an option in here um, to edit the master component. Um, which means if I move something over to the right in this one, mm -hmm. it moves on every other yeah. component, which is phenomenal if you mm -hmm. ever have to like rework something. Yeah, exactly. So you don't have to go and individually change each se section. And before mm -hmm. we used to have symbols, so when you changed one, like it would just change everything. But for instance, since you have this, if you want to make like favorites filled in, it won't change the master component, which is really nice. That but is really nice. If you do want to do like an overall change, you can go back to the master component and change little things. So right. So that's that. that's one of the best benefits. <laughs> yeah. I think it's just not having to. I think sometimes when you have to like build symbols, you create like filled in versions yeah, of things exactly. and unfilled it, and it just becomes this really really monstrous mm -hmm. like collection of like symbols. Too much. <laughs> yes, it's so much happening. Um, so you can create a symbol out of pretty much anything from like a tab bar to like this mm -hmm. little like that image card. card. Yeah, yeah. What, whatever you want to make them. You could even make like this details like slide a symbol mm -hmm. if we're going to be using yeah. that, and maybe we will. Mm -hmm. We'll see. So yeah. um, it is a great time saver. Yeah. So oh, Howard um, just shared his link to learn all about components, and his website is letsxd.com slash video slash components. And Howard has the best tutorials on components and everything XD related. Yeah. So everyone should go check it out. <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay. So now that we've we've given a little overview of that, so you can see I've got some of the colors in there. I haven't dropped all of my font styles mm -hmm. in there. I yeah. figured we'd do some of that on the fly. Mm -hmm. um, but we're working with uh, Avenir Next as our font. Great no font. real yeah. reason for <laughs> that font. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I think it's friendly. I think yeah. it's fun. I think mm -hmm. it fits what we're going yeah. for. So that's that's okay. Um, so let's add some color to this thing. Um, and real quick, one of my other favorite things um, is that you can move things around in layers just like you would in Illustrator or mm -hmm. InDesign and whatever. So if I command shift um, forward bracket to mm -hmm. the front, command shift back, back bracket. Yeah. You don't have to like go hunting for this mm -hmm. in the side yeah. and try to figure out where to do it. Nope. Um, okay, so let's make it purple. And so like you can see, all I had to do was go over to the colors over here mm -hmm. and make purple. We could make it green. We could, ah, I'm, I'm feeling like purple. Yay. We'll, we'll try that for now and see how it goes. Um, and I think we might work on like a logo or something for this mm -hmm. like a little Ooh, later. Yeah. But I wanna like get through some of this onboarding. Mm -hmm. I feel like everyone had so many strong opinions about like this homepage <laughs> yeah. that I can't let everyone down and like mm -hmm. not get there. <laughs> yeah. So like let's get through this onboarding mm -hmm. and then talk about what that looks like. 
Um, one of the other things that came up yesterday is um, I think a couple people had questions about um, like if I had any tips for presenting or speaking oh, yeah. or like how to get started speaking. Mm -hmm. I don't think we got to any of yeah. that. So if you do, feel free to drop them in the chat. I'm more than happy to answer. Um, I don't know. Maybe you don't want to hear about that. Maybe you just want to see me design some pretty things mm -hmm. and get out of here. But <laughs> I figured I would uh, ask if anyone had any questions. Yes. So. Oh, I want to say quickly, you can also change the fill color of the whole artboard if you don't want to drag over mm, the rectangle. Look at so that. just another way Oh, that's to right. Yeah, so that's if you just select right. the whole artboard, you can change it to purple. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there's a whole bunch of stuff. Actually, yesterday, we'll talk about one other thing real quick. We were talking about um, this layout grid yesterday. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, and why that's so, so nice. Um, so you can see some of these buttons are definitely not lined up. Um, <laughs> and a grid just really helps you keep everything consistent. Mm -hmm. It keeps the spacing consistent. Yeah. You know that you're not running too close to the edge. Um, and it just makes everything feel like you breathe a little bit better. Mm -hmm. You know where yeah. the space is supposed to be. You know like how things should be lined up. Um, so I don't know that like there's any right or wrong type of grid. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's so yeah. many out there. Exactly. Um, but we're going with a six column grid with a nine pixel gutter in between and 50 wide. So we're gonna be working in increments of like 25, 50, 12, mm -hmm. somewhere yeah. in there today. <laughs> cool. So one of the things that we decided yesterday was that we really wanted to figure out, um, oh, that is blue. <laughs> um, we wanted to have um, our users answer a few questions for themselves, um, just so we can get to know who they are. I think like, this is, should be like pretty mm -hmm. toned down, yeah. right? Like we don't we don't really need it That's to be the, focus of, the most important. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think we started with buttons, and then you guys had so many good suggestions, <laughs> yeah. and they just kept coming. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you don't want to scroll for that. Yeah. So I'm thinking maybe we make those um, like maybe it's a multi-select like list, mm -hmm. and we'll just change you know everything that's in that yeah. list, and we can make this a reusable component. Ooh. Look at that! Nice. Look at that. Dun, dun, dun. Dominique is saying, "I need to get the hang of these daily challenges. I'm not sure how to do the music one. I missed the beginning of the previous video. So the video that Andrea Hawk um, just streamed right before our stream." Um, is available to view back on either the YouTube channel for Adobe Creative Cloud or on behance.net slash live. If you scroll a little bit further down, you'll see the XD Daily Creative Challenge number one. And you can go back and check out the video, or if you need help getting started, you can check out our Discord channel. And there's a bunch of people in there, all the XD community, um, helping each other out and giving feedback. So I recommend you check that out, Dominique, and hopefully that'll help you get started. Yeah. Okay, so I just turned this into a component, but I can also mm -hmm. probably just repeat grid it. Um, but you can also repeat grid components. Look at that. So we're, we're learning <laughs> yeah, with melody yeah. over here. <laughs> um, so Command K, we'll turn this into a component. Mm -hmm. You can name it whatever it'll be. So we'll, we might just call this like drop down item. Mm -hmm. um, usually, if I'm building a design system or working in design systems, I really like to. Uh, get really rigid with my naming conventions. Mm. Um, so like I like to know like exactly what it's gonna be. So it's mm -hmm. gonna be like um, drop down component slash deep fault or like mm -hmm. drop down component yeah. slash selected. And that's like a it's a me thing, but I also mm -hmm. think that sometimes it helps organize things and yeah. keep it keep it more put together. Mm -hmm. Right now, I feel like we'll just we'll just see how it goes yeah. not doing that. We're gonna <laughs> live on the Yay. edge today. Mm, I don't know how that's gonna go, but we'll see. Um, and so we've got, you can see, I'm just lining up the edges of both of these up to mm -hmm. that gutter and then starting the uh, content right in there. Um, and one of the things we also did yesterday was like really focus on what the content should be for all of this, right? We wanted mm -hmm. to make sure, especially me as a content person, <laughs> um, wanted to make sure that this, this all made sense and that we were asking the right questions and thinking about the right content rather than just throwing Laura Ipsum in here mm -hmm. and then sort of filling in the gaps yeah. later on. Um, I think that's really easy to do sometimes as a designer, um, but I don't think it creates the best experience for your user yeah. necessarily. And we had lots of discussions about that yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll give a little space. That feels okay. 
We might, we might tweak it. We'll, we'll see. Mm. I feel like this could maybe go a little bigger. What mm -hmm. do you think? Yeah, I think. Big question. Yep. Mm -hmm. It is a big question. It's an important question because uh, the, the whole reason yeah. you're here, in theory, <laughs> yes. is for this, right? Um, and then something I also realized we forgot yesterday is like maybe including a button at the bottom of this to move Ooh. from <laughs> one to the other. Mm -hmm. It seems like sort of important. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the things you realize yeah. when you get home at the end exactly. of the day. Sometimes you just forget those small little things. Like maybe the user might just swipe, but what if they don't know they can swipe? So mm -hmm. it's important to have little indicator of where they can go next. Yep, give give <laughs> the people what they want. Yeah. <laughs> give the people options too. Um, so I'm thinking maybe we'll go with this like dark blue text inside mm -hmm. of it. It's like, it's again, it's super close to black, but I just mm -hmm. think it's a little less hard. Yeah. Less, less, less harsh. harsh. There we go. <laughs> That's um, hard to say. <laughs> ooh, it looks like chat and win is coming up. Yeah, ooh, two minutes. So if you haven't asked a question or said hi, Please feel free to do that so you can have a chance to win 100 free stickers from Sticker Mule. Howard says you could just <laughs> use voice prototyping and scream at the app to advance to the next Aww. screen. And if that is not the That's best funny. suggestion I have ever heard, I don't know what is. Yeah. I need to That's <laughs> pretty great. Yeah. Um, onboarding indicator. Do, cool. So we're going to, thanks to Mel, use our little. Mm -hmm. uh, Fill in, just nice. grab the same color yeah. that we had before. And I'm just gonna pull these three over and look at that. Nice. It pastes them in the same spot so I don't I even have to that. like, oh, it's so <laughs> nice. What are your hiking needs? I don't know, I got, I got a lot of needs. <laughs> <laughs> Melody's over here like, someone please rescue me. So if no. you have any suggestions <laughs> to get her out of here, um, let, let her know in the no, track. <laughs> any <laughs> any uh, good excuses. <laughs> Uh, all right, so we're gonna do the same thing. We've got our drop down item. Boom. And then we'll just replace that with dog friendly. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Cause I feel like- I have a question. Ooh. Um, what is it gonna look like when they select like one of these options, since now you changed it to text mm -hmm. on the line. Mm -hmm. How are you gonna show that? A check? Ooh, okay. I, I like that you knew that's what I was <laughs> yeah. going for. No, I reversed on the other side. But yeah, we're, yeah. We're, I think we're gonna go with like a little check, check mark. Okay, cool. Yeah, because I also mm -hmm. think like, the buttons make me feel like it's just an like a one time one thing, selection. Yeah, that's uh, true. Whereas like this this like check mark, it feels mm -hmm. like you can select multiple things mm -hmm. at once. Yeah. And we want people to feel like they can pick more yeah. than one option. Cool. So I think that's what we're going for. Yeah. We'll have to grab that icon afterwards. And then one other thing, um, are you gonna change this close to public transit button? Yes. <laughs> And what are you gonna name that next, or I think, continue? Um, or yeah, I, I think I think we've talked a lot about like next continue. Oh, oh yeah. Oop, look at chat this! Chat and win time. We're already Yay. flying. Okay, um, if you haven't said hi yet, um, now is your chance. Let us know where you're watching from. Say hello, and we will be right back with a winner for our challenge. And we're back, <laughs> yay. Let's see where everyone is from. Jordan is from Iowa, awesome. Josh Lewis is from Colorado. Hey. Hey. India. Nice. Cool, we are streaming from San Francisco, California. Mm -hmm. Philly, that's so cool, yay. St. Joseph, is that Missouri? Yeah. I'm the worst at like <laughs> state abbreviations. Texas, Aruba, Kansas City, Brooklyn, Ireland. Hey. Turkey. Canada. Oh my God. Uh, Bogota, that's Colombia. Oh, Hi. cool. Romania, Romania. Detroit. Ooh, Look at this. Another Russia, Iowa. Puerto Rico, Peru, Virginia, Texas, Texas in the house. Ooh. 
Nice. Hey, Savannah. Germany. Hey. Oh, Kevin Kelly Kroger, you were the winner yesterday. Hello. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us yeah. again. Glad we didn't scare you off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have a winner. Ha Hafiz uh, Api Praya. I hope I said that correctly. Congratulations. Yay, you're gonna be getting 100 free stickers from Sticker Mule, and they are custom stickers, so if you have a fun design that you want to turn into a sticker, you can do that with 100 free stickers, and yay, congratulations. And also, if you did not win, you can still um, head over to this link, stickermule.com slash adobelive19, and you can get 10 stickers for only $1. So it's still a pretty good deal if you wanna yeah. try it out. Let's see how it works. Yeah, your laptop can be as beautiful yes. as Melody's is. Ooh. I've got nothing. So clearly <laughs> I need okay. to follow the link. <laughs> um, yeah. All right, so Melody just brought up an excellent question, which is how in the world are you gonna be able to tell <laughs> <laughs> what you have selected here? Um, so we'll just pull my little my little icon down here and then we'll, we'll drop in our little check mark so you could see what you picked. That might be like, sort of gigantic as an mm -hmm. icon. So maybe we'll shrink it a little bit. Maybe we'll knock it down a size. Um, and since we decided yesterday, for those of you who were not with us, that we are building this app for Melody. Um, and we are, <laughs> only, we are for only for Melody. <laughs> Everybody else, no one else needs it. Uh, but we are, we are building this with Melody in mind. So whatever, whatever she would answer <laughs> is what this we're is going answer. with. <laughs> So yesterday we learned that she loves waterfalls. She did yeah. not take TLC's advice. I didn't. <laughs> um, so we're gonna be looking for some water features mm -hmm. and we're gonna be looking to for get out whatever more. else she yeah. feels like. Yeah, so I feel like I'd like yeah. to get out more is, mm -hmm. is right for you. Yeah, I agree. Um, <laughs> do, you, do you need anything that's dog friendly or no. good for kids or close to public transit? Uh, I would choose close to public transit for me. Cool. Um, be... Does no. anyone else, now that we've gained all of this space, does anyone Ooh. have any suggestions uh, for other Great. hiking needs that they yeah. think we are missing? I know Let we had a know. ton of them yesterday, mm -hmm. but it's hard to hard to keep track oh. of all of them. What about, like, are there, since I'm not familiar with hikes, I don't know, this is probably a stupid question, but are there hikes that are like, they close at like, or like the trails close at like certain times. Yeah, so I think it depends. Like state mm -hmm. parks, they yeah. close at dusk. So okay. like in Colorado, that could be mm -hmm. anywhere from like four o'clock to like eight. Um, so <laughs> yeah, like dawn to dusk is usually whenever mm -hmm. it might be, but that's, pre yeah. that's pretty good to know too. Um, so like, what would you call that? Like open at night? <laughs> I don't know that anyone wants to hike. Uh, that's true. I don't, See, here's I'm, the, I'm not a hiker, so I <laughs> I don't know. I was say, here's the thing. Um, <laughs> as someone that's hiked when it's getting dark, mm -hmm. I do not like to be out that past That's a dark. good point. There are a lot of people that do like morning hikes mm -hmm. and they do like a sunrise. So they oh. like leave at like 4 a.m., mm -hmm. they go really early, and then you're oh. up there when the sun comes up, yeah. but you're still hiking in the dark, mm -hmm. which is like, that's a little scary. creepy to me. I mean, the good oh news is God. like, you know it's gonna get wetter yeah. and you're going up, it's not uh -huh. like you're going downhill, but like, that's a nightmare. Yeah. Um, I'm seeing um, option to camp, um, Savannah oh. says. I was wondering, yeah. like, I was actually wondering mm -hmm. about that. How do we yeah. feel? Cause I was thinking this might be like, more of point. just a day mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. but I don't know. If the people like, wanna maybe... camp, you gotta let the people camp. Yeah, true. So <laughs> let's let's throw it in there. Mm -hmm. um, I wanna call that like with camping um, or like, Campsites Camping. available. Yeah. See, it's, ooh, emergency shelter. Oh man, I really oh. hope I don't need that while I'm hiking. Yeah. Um, after hours. See, I mm -hmm. just, I would love to know where um, people are hiking <laughs> <laughs> at night. <laughs> because like personally, we mm -hmm. learned yesterday, I hate bears, it's mm -hmm. a whole no, thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, like wh where are you guys going? <laughs> yeah. That you're like really excited to be there yeah. at night because like this is a that's a hard no mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. So I don't know. I might just leave that one off on purpose. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll say uh, campsites available. I, I think, think that's right? good. Yeah. Someone Hugo said lunch delivery options, <laughs> which is really funny. Lunch that delivery. Nice. I feel like, like that's your kind of yeah. hike, right? Like, that's my kind of hike. We also learned yesterday we added picnic in <laughs> yeah. here because that's that's exactly what Melody yeah. wanted. Is she wants to picnic mm -hmm. on these hikes. So. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. I see where you guys are going, I like it. I'm all about it today. And I'm actually 
gonna just do uh, option drag over so that I don't have to paste Ooh, all of these nice. things. Sometimes I'm on a roll, mm -hmm. and just right now <laughs> might be one of those times. Yep. Give me five minutes, it's gonna be the opposite, Ooh. but that's okay. Okay, so we've got, what would you like to see? Um, water Waterfall. features. Oh. <laughs> I mean, we could just water. put specifically waterfall. Waterfalls. Yeah. <laughs> so water features, would that be like, a lake? I think like well? a lake. Maybe okay. maybe we just call it water. water. Yeah. I feel like that feels better, feels right? To me, like features seems like something like, I don't know. Does it like feel not like? not natural. You know I say, I mean? It sort of feels like um, something you'd put in your backyard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this is my water feature. Yeah. We're basically uh, exterior and interior decorators mm -hmm. over here, yes. Melody and I. <laughs> Okay, so we'll just say water, mm -hmm. right? Um, and then we've got forest. I don't, I don't know if that's the right phrase, but like there are hikes mm -hmm. where you don't go into the woods, yeah. so maybe you want to find some other one, mm -hmm. uh, some other ones. We've got beach. Um, we have wildlife, um, but not bears. Mm -hmm. um, someone suggested <laughs> yesterday that bears is its own option, and I'm just gonna Ooh. nix that mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who would want to see a bear while they're hiking. So. I, yesterday I told the story of how I almost saw a bear, mm -hmm. but I didn't tell yeah. the story of the one time I did see a bear. <gasps> oh and God. it was my, my absolute <laughs> worst nightmare. I was hiking in, um, what was it, um, maybe Great Smoky Mountains mm -hmm. um, down um, in Tennessee. And we had gone on like a nine and a half mile hike. And we were like so Whoa. close to finishing this loop. Mm -hmm. I, I did not know it was not a <laughs> hours, but I started. And we're so close to finishing this loop. And all of a sudden this like baby bear comes across the trail. And I was like, there's a baby, there's, there's a, a mama. mama. I am I am not okay with this. Oh and we were with a dog, and it was, um, it's my boyfriend's sister's dog, mm -hmm. and she's this little thing, and she's the laziest dog I've ever seen, and I couldn't believe she made it nine and a half miles. Wow. But we were so afraid that she was mm. gonna see this bear and start barking. Oh God. Um, and she actually like saw the bear, and then just laid down and was like, just kill me now. Like, oh my God. She, she was so tired. Oh. But we had to like stand there, like mm -hmm. freaked out. Um, because we didn't like know what to do. In my tracks. Right. That's well, and so our scary. options were to walk nine and a half miles back, <laughs> or walk like the last like quarter of a mile. Yeah. And we were like the whole time we're like, okay, okay. Oh my god. I think we're good. It was horrible. That's so so bears are not an option. Yeah. All this to say, bears are not an option mm -hmm. in here. Um, so we also had meadows. Someone suggested mm -hmm. yesterday. Um, views. We talked about like um, calling things like iconic views or killer mm, views. Yeah. And I think we decided like to just keep just it straightforward, views. especially mm -hmm. like for people that might not like speak English and understand mm -hmm. all of our weird like anomalies. Yeah, like killer exactly. views doesn't sound yeah. right. Iconic mm -hmm. views, like what does, what, does that mean? what is yeah. iconic about yeah. it? Like am I gonna say Lady Gaga? Probably not. <laughs> so we just settled on views. Mm -hmm. um, and then we had city skylines because maybe you do want to go, yeah. go see one of those. Um, Sam's saying, I've seen a couple bears before, but luckily no grizzly bear encounters. That's still really scary. <laughs> yeah, hard pass on, seriously, yeah. anything bear related mm -hmm. is just a no for me. Um, and I feel like we've got just a, like enough of these that this button mm -hmm. isn't gonna fit. Um, Nicole so. has a good tip, or she wants to add wildlife safety tips should be included. That is not like a that, bad plan. Because I don't know anything about <laughs> hiking, apparently. <laughs> So I, I think I, you know more know about hiking than bit, you think you do. But I would like a quick overview of like, I don't know, like what do I do if I see a bear? Do it, I well, it's there? different oh. for every type of bear. Really? Yeah. Oh. So, so it's you, you don't just do the same thing. You mm -hmm. got to first you got to identify the bear. <laughs> That's then you gotta the figure out, thing. yeah. Then you gotta figure out what you're supposed to do yeah. for the bear, and then you gotta like escape the bear. And so, <laughs> hard pass on all things related to bears. So I think that's a great suggestion. I think that should go in like that details page maybe. Um, and then we just sort of figure that out. Okay, so it looks like we're still a little tight. Um, and maybe we just move this one up. And maybe we shrink the spacing on this. Maybe we go down to like 20. Does that feel? I, I that looks know. good. All right, I wanna make sure that you still feel like you can breathe. Um, yeah. So what would you like to see, Melody? I would like to see water. Okay. Um, and some views. Mm -hmm. Do those go together? I guess we're gonna find out, right? So, we're gonna we're gonna make it happen, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. We'll we'll see. Yeah, I guess a waterfall's a view, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Anything else? Um, 
I, I kind of want to see wildlife, but mm -hmm. definitely not bears. Uh -huh. But also, like, I don't know what other wildlife might there be on this hike. Like maybe birds? like some deer, some birds. Okay, I would I would like to see some birds and maybe like one or two deer. Okay, great. Um, <laughs> so we'll just man. Hugo says selfie spots. <laughs> that's funny. Howard says, excuse me, what kind of bear are you? <laughs> that, that's what I would ask the bear if I that's, so. <laughs> that's the question you have to ask. Um, and the other thing that's weird is like when you're hiking really in the back mm. country, they tell you to talk to bears, which really? just sounds weird, but it's like so that you like that alert weird. them so they know what's happening. Yeah. Um, and to me, it's just really funny. Mm -hmm. um, but so I just have a little yeah. conversation with them. I'm like, hey bear, um, if you could not kill me today, that'd be cool. I'm just trying to like get through, trying to like get to my hiking spot. Mm -hmm. We could just yeah. like pass you in peace. I'm all for it. But it feels really weird while I'm doing it. Yeah, I would be scared. Um, Jim in the studio useful. is saying, if you're ever attacked, hit it on the nose. I don't know if that's, is that true, Jim? <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's yes, super it's true. true. There we that's go. That's so scary. <laughs> I, I don't know that I want to get close enough to that bear's attacked. mouth. <laughs> Yeah, if I mean, you're not attacked, don't go up to it and hit it on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I feel like there's a children's book about that, which probably. is probably not the best thing <laughs> yeah. to like write a children's book mm -hmm. about, but whatever. Okay. So oh, look how you spelled activ activities. <laughs> I don't think it was on purpose, but I will take some credit yeah. for my unintentional excellent <laughs> phrasing. Um, okay, so the other thing we were talking about is like what activities do you want to do because Melody and I clearly want to go on a hike. Yeah. Um, but maybe not everyone else does. Um, maybe maybe other people have some other things mm -hmm. in mind. Yeah. So I just want to check. I'm just checking where I dropped that um, so I can make sure that it's consistent. So we've got some stuff going on. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Has anyone ever encountered a bear? And if so, could you like share that yeah, in the chat? Share maybe? that story with us. Yeah, I I want to hear <laughs> what you did and how you survived, and if you ever went outside again after that, because I probably wouldn't after my uh, last encounter. Okay, so we've got picnicking, hiking, uh, trail run. Uh, we had mountain biking. And then explore a new part of town. Mm hmm. Ooh. We might need to figure out how to shorten that one. Oh, yeah. Explore. Um, in the city? city? Yeah. Something like that, yeah. maybe? Um, and then swim. And then climbing. Can't forget climbing. It's such a popular activity mm -hmm. in Colorado. Really? Yeah, and it, I feel like it just takes such a crazy amount of strength mm -hmm. that I'm like, no. <laughs> like outdoor, like on an actual mountain? Yes, yeah, so we call yeah. it bouldering. Uh -huh. And it's like, you see people with like crash pads mm -hmm. and they're trying to climb up like, and it's just their hands and like oh shoes and they're just trying to climb up. And it, it just what looks if they painful. Fall down? Well, they're, like, they're not that high, uh -huh. but like there are people that like, you can rock climb in a lot of places in Colorado. If you're ever in Boulder, um, that's a big, big thing what up there too. What a suitable city name for that activity. Uh, yeah, Boulder yeah. for Boulder. Yeah. <laughs> not not your worst naming convention there. Okay, so we're gonna move all of this up because we're running out of some space. Josh says a bear took a bath in my pond when I lived in the mountains and I was in the hot tub. I would freak out. <laughs> uh no, Josh. At least you were far away from the bear. Was it like maybe the pond is next to this oh, hot maybe. tub? Like I don't know. How close were you? <laughs> Sam says, once when I was a kid, a bear ate all of our food before the days we had bear canisters. So all was left was a huge hunk of salami. <laughs> oh, I was so hungry, I ate so much and got sick. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> I love that we've just got bear related yeah. here. Like this, maybe we should have built an app. Um, about bears. Yes, yeah. about bear safety. Yeah. Just like how to avoid a bear. <laughs> <laughs> that can be, if you, if you come back, which I hope you do, you can do a bear app. <laughs> Next okay, time. so everyone <laughs> petition um, for me to come back mm -hmm. and host and host a bear, a bear safety yeah. <laughs> course. I don't know that's a course, right? Maybe yeah. maybe it is. Maybe, maybe it's, it's like a course yeah. like app. What like if you can create enough a challenges talk about bear safety <laughs> and design. Course. I think I'm, I, th that would actually be like a really interesting like. How do you relate bears to design? Yeah. I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be fun. Uh -huh. Okay, so what activities mm -hmm. would you like to do, Melody? I would like to have a picnic. Cool. 
hike mm -hmm. and swim. Ooh, because you've got some water features. Yeah. That seems like a fair, seems fun. Like a, a fair seems question. Like a fun hike. <laughs> yeah. All right, just gonna line some things up. Oh, Josh says he walked right by the hot tub, but it was about 10 feet away. He was just chilling. You know, I've seen like <laughs> videos of bears like just chilling like out in wherever, and I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. Once again, <laughs> hard pass mm -hmm. for me. Killer views reminds me of bears again. Yes, mm -hmm. you're you're right. Ooh, someone just suggested explore the area instead oh, of explore like the city. That. I like that. Yeah. Jordan, thanks for the suggestion. Thank you. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a really good one. Okay. So really quickly, because I want to make sure these all sort of make sense, I'm just gonna like put this down to like two, three, five. And then I don't think we need all the space. So one of my favorite things as someone who wants to make sure where everything is, mm -hmm. is just hitting option mm -hmm. in um, Adobe. And so whatever you've selected in XD, it'll show you the spacing. Um, so I don't need it to be 43 pixels. Like I probably could go 32 maybe. I might feel a little mm -hmm. low, but I don't know. Well, we'll see how it is. And then we opted for continue for this button. I don't know if that's the best language, but I think it's pretty good, right? Like. Cool, and I think this very last one should be like, um, see your trails. Ooh. So like, you know, you know you're, you're done. done, you know you've made it, you mm -hmm. know that the wait is over and you will <laughs> finally get to see the trails that we have picked that are best for you. Melody's excited. Yes, I can't wait. <laughs> now I wanna go hiking. Hey, come to Colorado. Ooh. I want to, I've never been to Colorado. Really? Yeah. Oh man. I, when I like first came there, mm -hmm. um, I landed and within 20 minutes, I was like, I gotta move here. Like it's just really? like, it was just one of those places wow. that I just fell in love with That's and it amazing. was so perfect for me. I mean, I'm sure other people feel like that about like their city. Mm -hmm. Has anyone else like you, like you're there and mm -hmm. you're like, this is where I'm gonna be. Yeah. yeah. That that happened to me when I first went to Seattle and mm -hmm. that's where I went to grad school and I visited after I got into grad school, but once I applied, like I've never been to Seattle, but I went to just visit. And as soon as I like entered the city, I was like, I love this place. And so I know how you feel about entering yeah. Colorado. So. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, I just did, I threw some icons in here, right? I feel mm -hmm. like this is probably, maybe the home isn't quite right, but I kind of like it for now. Mm -hmm. um, just cause I feel like this is like, this is your recommendations. This is like, this is your thing, yeah. right? Um, so we could fill it in, we could leave it unfilled. Mm -hmm. I don't, maybe we just I kinda like the blue okay. filled in, okay. or the purple, purple Okay. blue. <laughs> okay, Melody likes it filled in, we're filling it in. <laughs> We are filling it in. All right. So oh, Howard um, lived in Colorado a few years ago, and now he's in LA, and he misses Colorado every day. Hey, I don't blame you. <laughs> it's the greatest place ever. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna. I don't. It was an outlined version of an mm -hmm. icon, so we just filled it all in, nice. so you can tell exactly where you are. Um, I would like to also move these. I'm thinking like this can be purple, right? Mm -hmm. um, and one thing I do want to call out is. Um, I'm always big on making sure that things are accessible when mm -hmm. you're designing. Yeah. So like this purple is totally accessible. Our blue um, is accessible. Like this green is not, but if mm -hmm. we layer it on top of this, yes it is. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna play around with some things. And like even like, it doesn't always have to be accessible on white, right? Like mm -hmm. you could do dark colors on yeah. white things. So just wanted to let everyone know, I've thought about it. I've made sure, thinking about things ahead of time, who knew? Um, Cool, and so we're gonna just change some of these. Ooh, I'm thinking maybe, I think the dark blue for some of these. Oh, let's not fill it in though. Whoops, <laughs> whoops. This is what happens when you're just like, you're just so excited mm -hmm. about design. Yeah. <laughs> and you're just moving so fast and no one can stop you. <laughs> um, quick reminder to everyone watching, in about 38 minutes, we're gonna be reviewing your designs for today's XD Daily Creative Challenge, which a new challenge series started today with day one. And this round's theme is a music creation app. And Andrea Hawk just went live before us showing you how to get started. And there's also an, a really awesome starter file um, to get started with this app. So if you have been working on today's challenge, 
um, you should submit that on our Discord in the design feedback section because I will be grabbing your designs from there in about 38 minutes and we're gonna be reviewing them live. Yeah. So I'm excited to see everyone's designs. So. I am stoked. Yeah. Um, so just real quick, we've got the tab bar on the side, um, but because I didn't think about this, um, I did not edit the master, which means that oh. when we move it along, um, then it's not going to be the same as like our exploratory mm -hmm. I've ones. I've done that before too. Yeah. So I'm just gonna <laughs> like bye, mm -hmm. um, and then again, Command K adds it Yay. in my components. So don't worry, everyone. We took care of it. We took care of it. Um, okay. So. I've got this like name of height goes here. I think yesterday we talked about like you want like how long this is gonna take mm -hmm. you to do. If you've only got 40 minutes or like 20 minutes or whatever it is and you mm -hmm. don't really wanna yeah. do all this, like let's just get to the point. Um, elevation was another thing mm -hmm. that we said yeah. was like really important. Um, I just did a 14er um, last fall. So a mountain that's over 14,000 feet and the distance was only four miles. But oh. the elevation gain was like 8,000 wow. feet or something like absolutely ridiculous. Oh we started like God. just above what it was in Denver. <laughs> and I just remember thinking like, oh, this will be fine. And it was miserable. So I'd like to know after that experience, <laughs> how much I would have to climb. Oh. <laughs> so, wow. and then how long you're actually like going, right? Mm -hmm. If you're like keeping track of like, oh, I'm gonna get my 10,000 stats yeah. in. So there we go. Yeah, I like the icon that you chose for that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I had a couple of options. Mm -hmm. Point A I to point that, B felt pretty. Yeah, that represents it pretty well. Yeah, and I mm -hmm. thought this one was sort of a nice little like. Wah, wah, yeah. wah. <laughs> Anyone that works with me knows that I make a lot of sound effects uh, when I'm like nice. designing and or just like talking <laughs> That's in general. Really funny. So every once in a while we'll get like a. Nah, nah. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> um, cool. Um, so let's maybe come up with some names here. Ooh, oh, maybe um, people in the chat have yes. some cool trail names yes. that we could use. Let, Let me know. know. <laughs> um, make them up. Yeah. If it's an actual trail, I don't really care. We'll just we'll just roll with it. Um, and then the other thing is, I grabbed some um, stock photos. Um, so one of the things we talked about today. Um, or yesterday, sorry, was um, maybe having this like recently taken section mm -hmm. so that people can yeah. show off their own photos and you know what the trail looks like. Mm -hmm. um, so I grabbed a couple photos that I thought would be great from that from Adobe Stock and then a couple just like really pretty photos that I thought would be nice in here. So we've got this beautiful Ooh. one. Um, so you can pick. We've got a water feature there. Um, I wanna go there. We've got a valley with a water feature there. Um, that looks too hard. <laughs> And then we've got one of these. Ooh. So, so what, which one are you I feeling? I like the first one. Great. So we're just gonna okay. drag it in. Nice. Boom. Cool. And I actually should. If you grab two of them. Yeah. Boom. It pre-populates. <laughs> so that's such a nice for anyone that missed it. Um, if you grab them and you can grab them, it doesn't have to be the same ones, right? Mm -hmm. So like maybe we want this one and uh, this little guy down here. Oh no, I am. Look, we're not going to do that anymore. Sorry, everyone. I don't know what That's I just okay. hit, but it's not cooperating. Yeah. Uh, but you can drag them over, and it'll add them in whatever order you selected them in. Mm. So, so for everyone in the chat that was saying the pictures are going to make it, like, mm -hmm. that's yeah. it. Nice. That's it. Howard okay, so says, you're not a real designer unless you make sound effects. Boop. Thanks, Howard. <laughs> Yay. So, so glad. Okay. Um. Let's see. Do we have any? We have a name from Jordan. Bees Knees Trail. Okay. I like Ooh. it. I like that too. I like it. Are we gonna make this like your trail? Like I think because yes. you liked that picture. Yeah. Okay. So like, how many minutes do you want to spend on this? Half an uh, hour? Forty minutes? Maybe like two hours. Mm. I don't know. I feel like uh, if I'm this is the go... surprise. <laughs> if I want to go and hike, gate. I'd like to spend more than forty minutes. Yeah. Yay. We're converting her, people. <laughs> We're converting her. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually am thinking maybe we make this like, maybe it's the purple, maybe mm -hmm. it's this dark blue. I don't Ooh. know. We'll stick with dark blue yeah. for now. I feel like it's kind of soft. Um, so two hours. How many feet do you feel like climbing? 14,000. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I have no idea. Okay. We're going to go like 728 <laughs> oh, feet. Okay. Not, it's not that bad. Um, and we'll make this like, a solid uh, 4.7 okay. miles. You're gonna like crush it today. Yes. 
Um, cool. And we're going to leave this other one because I've already yeah. found this <laughs> other information because we can <laughs> speed it up and move along. Um, and so, yeah, you can see we've got our two two big things here. Um, yeah, I think maybe maybe we'll change some of the colors in here. Ooh. Like, let's make these. Um, let's go that dark blue. Maybe we'll throw, and this could look terrible. That looks terrible. We're not doing that. <laughs> uh, but maybe we'll throw a purple line, or we'll pull one of our new colors up here. Is there anyone that you're, like, really feeling? Um... I like the red one. This one? Yeah. Cool. It has been added. Cool. Well, we'll see where we we'll can throw that, that in there. <laughs> it might not look the best I, here, I but... kind of like how that lighter purple, or is that the same shade it's purple? It's the same shade of okay, purple. For so some I was reason, to... it looked lighter to me. <laughs> I kind of, I, I don't know. I'm kind of liking this orange. It's feeling mm -hmm. a little bright. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. We'll, we'll shake it up and see how we feel, right? Yeah, I'm liking that blue up there. And then I think these are just black right now. So mm -hmm. like, let's just maybe, we've been using this like dark blue text a lot. Mm -hmm. Let's go this like blue gray text, um, just so it's a little softer. Yeah. And like the emphasis is on the actual name of the trail mm -hmm. rather than like all that other stuff. No one cares about the other stuff, right? <laughs> We're just putting it there because we mm -hmm. have to. <laughs> we also decided yesterday, um, and I guess let us know if the chat feels differently today, but no one really liked reading these big, long descriptions mm. of the, uh, the trail, right? Like, I, as someone who, like, loves writing, thought I was going to mm -hmm. become a writer, does not need to read that, like, you'll reach the peak, <laughs> and to your left, yeah. there is a beautiful, lush valley mm. filled with wildflowers and one to Ooh. two deer, per Melody's request. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I yeah. don't need that. So we're, we're trying to get, like, get people outside, give the people what they need to do it, yeah. and move on. Um, and you can see, because this is a repeat grid, all of my Ooh. updates have moved down there. Nice. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this, yeah. right? Like, this is this is all right. It's like not Yay. the worst thing I've ever designed. Um, <laughs> so we'll leave that for now. Yay. Oh, we um, had another name uh, from Richard, Happy Trails. Mm. We can maybe put that in the next mm -hmm. trail name. Mm -hmm. Should be Happy Trail, maybe? Yeah. Similar? OK, cool. <laughs> Guys, these are great names. Yay. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about them. Um, and just like, we've got some drop shadow going on here. Mm -hmm. So like there's some layering, it's kind of nice. nice. Mm -hmm. Now that we've got some photos in there, I'm feeling like I wanna go on this hike. Um, all right, so we'll slide on over. We're in Bee's Knees Trail. Um, my family also calls me Bee, so this feels like really? a very personal oh. like trail for me. <laughs> um, it's not I mean. spelled the same, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's just literally the letter B. Mm -hmm. um, but this feels, this feels like yeah. my trail, right? Like Ooh, it's my trail yeah. that Melody's going on. Ooh. Um, <laughs> So I thought long and hard about these icons yesterday. Um, and we talked about like, maybe these will be like the suitability. So like, mm -hmm. if it's good for kids, close to public transit, all that. And I just, I thought about it and I've just decided that I want to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It was one of those, like I got home and I was just like, nope. Yep. Nope, I don't like, I don't okay. like where this is going. So maybe they'll live on another day, yeah. but not today. Oh, we, we tried them and you know. Yeah. They didn't make it. It's okay though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so maybe we'll do this sort of like big, sort of rounded image again. Um, and I think we don't need this like for you melody anymore. Mm -hmm. I think this can just be an image up there. Um, so I'm thinking we might need a new name for yeah. our little uh um, someone, Lindsay, said there's a different connotation between happy trails and happy trail. That is not a bad point there, Lindsay. Um, and Howard says it escalated quickly, yeah. and he is very right. So we're going to just, like, pick a new trail name, and maybe mm -hmm. this is, like, Buffalo Creek, Ooh. and that's what it is now. <laughs> we're just going to pretend we never yeah. did that. It's fine. It's fine. This is this is what happens when you go live. Yeah. You never you know never. where you're going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did not even think about that. Neither so. did I. I think that I think that says but more about us than yeah. it does everyone else. Come on, people. Yeah. Come on. Um, okay. So, back on track. <laughs> I think let's add a photo in here. And actually, I'm kind of liking this like layering that we have mm -hmm. going on here. So I think we should do that again. Um, and maybe this is like a rounded card Ooh. with the image, and then mm -hmm. everything else is still like that overlay yeah. there. So let's. Drop our picture in. Boom. 
Dun, dun, dun. And we can go way bigger. I don't know how big is like too big, right? Mm -hmm. But that feels that feels okay. Yeah. And let's put like a five, maybe ten. Let's see. Oh, five. <laughs> yeah. Let's go that. ten because you can't tell. <laughs> No, he's like, yeah. are you sure you did anything? Yeah. I'm like, I don't know that I did anything. Okay. You can see it over here. Yeah. There we go. Okay. And then, yeah, let's maybe, I don't know that we want to, like, cut off all of the room that we have for mm -hmm. it, but, like, we could maybe just do a little bit of uh, of rounded corner layering there. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Maybe it, maybe it just looks like that. And maybe it's just, let's check our little grid and see what we're working with. Does anyone have any, uh, any questions for uh, Melody and I in the chat? Ask away. Any suggestions <laughs> for what we're missing on Ooh, this? I yeah. know someone mentioned um, that we might want like what you can prepare for. Oh, yeah. um, maybe weather goes mm -hmm. in here. Like we had a whole bunch of ideas yeah. yesterday. We were just full of them. Mm -hmm. All of them. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's okay. That's all right. I'm kind of liking this overlay. We'll Me see. too. And I'm just gonna check the height on that. We don't need it like 28, right? We can just go like up. Cool. Um, and so one of the things actually that we talked about yesterday was maybe mm -hmm. doing like these four blocks um, for like elevation gain incline distance. And again, I went home and thought about it and I was like, if we're only showing them three here, mm -hmm. it kind of feels like rude is the wrong word, but it feels <laughs> like we've tricked them into thinking mm -hmm. that you only have three data points that you need to look at and you know everything you need to get, know. Mm -hmm. And then we give them, give them a new one. So I'm thinking maybe we cut it back down to uh, three. three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just see how that goes. It looks like um, someone said um, dog friendly. We definitely have dog friendly on here. That was in one of these little uh, bubbles up yeah. here. <laughs> um, we'll bring it back somewhere. <laughs> um, so. Oh, uh, someone saying difficulty level. And I think we talked a little bit about that yesterday and how mm -hmm. like easy, moderate, difficult can mean different things to different people. Mm -hmm. But that's a good point. Like how, how would we kind of open? Yeah, yeah, I think maybe. So we talked about a lot of this being like user generated mm -hmm. or user input. Um, and so maybe we give people the option to, and maybe it's not reviews, mm -hmm. um, but like they can say like how, like how oh, hard it yeah. was or like what it might be for them. Because like beginner, like intermediate, advanced, like mm -hmm. it makes sense. I am not gonna like throw myself out there on an advanced trail, <laughs> right? Same. But it's just like maybe I think something is intermediate and mm -hmm. it's really like way harder than yeah. I thought it was or uh -huh. way easier and I'm like, what is this? Like yeah. this isn't what I was planning on. So yeah, let's let's ponder. Mm -hmm. Let's ponder that information for a little bit. And Jordan mm -hmm. is saying maybe mentioning crowds if it like there's not that many people or if there's if it's mm -hmm. really crowded. I feel mm -hmm. like I wouldn't want to go on like a super crowded hike. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's like something that I've seen um, a lot that's called like popularity. Oh. And I think that would probably be a good one. Okay. So like maybe maybe it's popularity and maybe instead of it saying like like low or mm -hmm. high, maybe it's got like an average number of people a day and maybe that's oh. pulled from like the number of people that are checking in for this thing, oh, yeah. right? Like maybe it's okay, Ooh. like we've had 200 people check in for this mm -hmm. hike today. I don't want to go on anymore. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't That's know. too many people for me. I'm just, I'm just spitballing here, but I don't know. We could try it. Okay, so we also were talking about maybe doing these as like stacked vertical. I'm mm -hmm. kind of liking leaving them as they are because I feel like we gain a lot of space yeah, like that. I agree. Cool. So let's let's leave it. Melody likes it. We're doing what Melody says because it's for her. Yes. Thank you for designing this whole app for me. Yeah. <laughs> I, if you don't use it, I'm gonna be <laughs> highly offended. <laughs> Um, I don't know who's gonna develop it or where it's gonna go, but like, if you don't use it, use I it. like, <laughs> I might go home and cry. Oh. So, <laughs> don't make me do that. I won't. <laughs> I'll go. Uh, I'll take pictures. There you I'll go. See some birds. She'll be the only <laughs> user of this yeah. app. <laughs> um, she'll she'll make me feel better about myself <laughs> all my effort. Um, yeah. So I'm just locking this so I don't accidentally move it around. Mm -hmm. um, if you didn't have like. 
this like weird little curved background, mm -hmm. whatever. Maybe you wouldn't need it, but yeah. we I decided love using to go the lock fancy. Feature. I know. Because I always like, move the background, and I'm like, no. I'm like, no, I didn't need to do that. But that's also why, like, coloring the artboard is really mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Uh, but if you have something like this, you just can't quite do that. Mm -hmm. um, so I think we decided yesterday that um, what you can do, what you'll see, and then we're going to need to add, like, our suitability back in mm -hmm. there. Um, and I don't know if um, if anyone has better suggestions about, like, suitability, um, as I spell it horribly and tell you all <laughs> I'm, like, a content person. Um so if anyone has uh, suggestions um, for like a new name for that maybe, mm -hmm. so like this is our dog friendly, wheelchair accessible, mm -hmm. yeah. good with kids, um, close to public transit. This is like all those things that would let you know if this is a good fit for you or not. Mm -hmm. So if anyone has suggestions for this name, drop Ooh. them in the chat. Yeah, Jordan is saying Google shows something like that for state parks and then Howard says Google has popular times chart. Mm. And I've seen that when I'm like looking up food places mm -hmm. and it tells you like when it's most popular so that would be kind of cool totally to add and then maybe like some people like to go really early or Good late at them. night I don't know we haven't like discussed this mm -hmm. somehow I am like the least morning morning person on earth so like <laughs> I would definitely be the person that's like parks open late I'm yeah. off like <laughs> I'm not gonna get up really early and and go to Me it too. but that some people probably do want to mm -hmm. know Gotta give early. people what they yeah. want. Um, I'm sort of feeling like maybe we put some of these tags either in blue or with blue mm -hmm. text. Um, so let's add that to our colors. Um, and I'm feeling like I like the bubbles for this maybe. I don't mm -hmm. know, what do you think? I like them. Okay. So what if we did some of that? Ooh. Hmm. Going crazy over here. Yes. Yeah, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Um, and so sort of what I'm thinking is maybe we've got this what you can do. And do you think it would make sense for that to be, you know, like set up? Do you think, like I've thought about maybe having some like add tag over here. Mm -hmm. So like you as the user could add something. Oh. I don't know if it makes sense for this, like what you can do in suitability or if it's just like this great, like what you will see mm -hmm. or like things like that. I don't know. What do you think? I feel like if you want to add a tag, Mm -hmm. Like I like if I was looking at this for the first time, I wouldn't have anything to add to it. But maybe mm -hmm. if someone is like kind of like a review or after they've completed the mm -hmm. trail, maybe they can mm -hmm. say like add this tag mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. something. So maybe what we're missing is like a um, maybe there's like an edit button up here mm -hmm. or something like that, so you can like um, share feedback or something yeah. like that in there. Okay, I don't know if this is the most obvious uh, solution for it right now. <laughs> um, we'll think on it. Do you yeah. guys have Do you guys have good suggestions for uh, what you might What you might use for like your how to edit or like mm -hmm. how to add yeah. tags? Originally, I was thinking maybe it's like something over here where it's like add tags and it's mm -hmm. like a little plus icon, just something in there. Yeah. I was thinking plus, but I also like adding what the plus represents. Yeah, so I think we need some sort of name. Um, so maybe it's like, I don't quite want to call it reviewing, right? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. What do you guys yeah. think? Any suggestions? Let us know. Oh, Tanya's suggesting, how about showing somewhere suggested gear slash supplies needed if it's a long hike? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Totally. Um, someone says um, it feels like a rename button with that pencil up there. Totally, Ooh. totally yeah. agree. So we will steer clear of the rename button. Morgan says you are my hero. Oh, hi, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I should have just planted people in the crowd. <laughs> Let's see. Um, no suggestions yet. Okay. We'll just, we'll just roll with it. If anyone has any ideas for... Uh, we're looking for a way to add tags um, or have user input tags, and we're looking for maybe what that feature would look like in here. Um, Melody pointed out that she wouldn't want to see that the very first time, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe there's like a like review button or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. We tried a little uh, pencil icon; it wasn't working. Mm -hmm. So let's let's see what you guys have for suggestions in the chat. Would love to hear them. Um, Jordan said additional information or features. And then Josh is saying, what about another tag under each section that says add tag? I like that. And maybe it's not quite like a tag. Maybe it's just like one of these, right? Yeah. It's just like a slightly smaller. Thanks, Josh. Mm -hmm. This is what we needed. We need someone to like 
give us a little momentum, tell us what we should be doing. Like sometimes when you're designing, this is a great design mm -hmm. lesson. Um, you just get so far in like your own head mm -hmm. and you think you know what you want and you're not like, you're not really sure what makes the yeah. most sense for you. Um, so it's always great to get feedback from other people, whether it's designers, writers, researchers, whatever it might be. Big proponent of having some feedback. Hey. Um, yeah, I like this. I like this ad tags. That was a great, great idea there. Oh, Giuliano is saying maybe suitability can be changed to friendly to, mm. and then like dogs, kids. Mm. Like so maybe, um, so, yeah, so we've got, the only thing is we've got the public transit option in there and campsites available. Um, so, I like that suggestion. I'm just thinking maybe we would have to move that or move mm -hmm. some of those into a new section. Or maybe has something like that, like has, um, I don't know. We'll, we'll, keep, <laughs> we'll keep thinking. Um, so, so far, um, we've got a waterfall in here. We've got, we're changing that to views. Um, and really quickly, just because I want like some pretty things that I, I dropped in here, let's add the recently Ooh. takens. Look at that. Yay. <laughs> Look at that. Um, and I want to kind of move this grid around. So let's, let's do that. Mm -hmm. Jordan is suggesting to add trail tips. So maybe people that have been on the trail, maybe they have like, um, yeah, tips or ideas of mm -hmm. like places to go. Good maybe. suggestions. Yeah. Okay, I like that. I'm on board with that. Thanks, Jordan. And then Haley is suggesting compatibility for. That's a great <laughs> suggestion. Thank you, Yay. Haley. That I really, really, really like that. Compat. I have to think. Sorry. Compatibility. <laughs> um, so for like anyone that's just watching me and it's like, wow, how is she typing? Like so terribly. It's like a lot to like mm -hmm. think about the word, type it, it is, in, yeah. like move around on the screen. So mm -hmm. I'm really sorry this is not, this is not as uh, beautiful as it could be. But we're trying our best over here. And that's all you can ask mm -hmm. of Melody and I. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, so we've got hiking. Um, I think we take rock climbing off this trail because it's, mm -hmm. it's your trail. Um, <laughs> so I think probably mountain biking makes some sense. Maybe trail running and hiking and that's it. Yeah. Maybe that's all we've got today. Mm -hmm. There's there's zero other things you can do on this trail. Um, and one thing I'm just checking is so some spacing. Want to make sure that we've got the same distance between the ends of our buttons mm -hmm. and that we're keeping it consistent. I feel like maybe 20 and 20 on each mm -hmm. side sounds about right. What do you think, Melody? I think that looks good. Excellent. Yay. Lindsay says maybe you're headed towards user reviews. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah. So the only thing I wondered, like, I wondered about reviews, right? Because mm -hmm. that can be really hard. Maybe like some people love writing reviews, and maybe some people don't. And I think since we're trying to keep it, um, keep it short, and we didn't want all of that like additional like weight, maybe like, um, maybe that's like not quite right. Like mm -hmm. maybe you don't want to yeah. read a, someone's review. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like reading reviews from other? Other people, do you feel like you try to just yeah. find the information yourself and you're mm -hmm. off? Like, let me know. If reviews make sense, throw reviews <laughs> yeah. in here. I personally don't like writing reviews. Um, like, usually after I use Uber or Lyft or whatever, and then they ask to like rate the driver, I like how it's really fast and easy and they they give you like kind of like similar to this. So you can choose mm -hmm. like what was good or what was bad. But you don't have to like write a huge long review. Mm -hmm. I think you can. I've never like had to, but yeah, I think it's good to give both options in case some people do like to write out everything. Um, good point. Yeah. Good point. Have you um, ever used ClassPass? No, but I've heard about it. Yeah, so it's what I love using in Colorado, but they have a really good like review system too. And so like after you've completed your like class, mm -hmm. it says what like was this class good for? Oh. And it's like fitness, endurance, mm -hmm. like whatever it oh, might nice. be. Um so that's I think like a really cool way to do it. And I think maybe that's like that's what we'll idea. go for here. Yeah. Cool. Um compatibility. So then I think we decided we're just gonna do this like we'll add tags, right? Mm -hmm. How do we feel about making that blue too? Ooh. Or does it feel like it should be in its own color? Maybe, I was thinking, maybe do like one of these dark colors, but bring the opacity a little bit down. Mm. Like 80% so like, or something? Mm -hmm. I don't know. 
Well, I sort of, I think I picked this one is 80-ish mm -hmm. percent of oh, that okay. one. So I think it's like you were with me yeah. when I created these colors. Wow. <laughs> um, Yay. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. I s just saw Josh said, I find myself relying too much on reviews. So for something like this, I wouldn't want to see them. Okay, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. Mm, Jordan says, when people check in on the app, you can prompt them similar to what Yelp does. Is it kid-friendly? Was there parking? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so oh, like yeah. that class pass thing I was mm -hmm. talking about. Yeah. That'd be good. Cool. Um, we got to find a spot to check in up here. Maybe it's oh, just yeah. like on the right up here. Maybe it's like a little... Uh, check. Check it. Oh, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see, like, do you see mm -hmm. that one that you really are feeling? Yeah, I feel like that's a, that one. That's all right. Yeah. And it can be... It can be subtle. How are we doing on time over okay, here? So 12 minutes and 30 ah. seconds until we're going to be reviewing your designs for today's XD Daily Creative Challenge. Um, even if you are not finished, that's totally fine. You can submit whatever you have and get feedback, even if it's just wireframes or you're not sure about one feature, mm -hmm. you can submit that on our Discord channel um, in the design feedback channel. So. I will be checking that channel in 12 minutes and we'll be giving some feedback on your design. So I hope you all submit them so that we can give you some feedback. Yeah, and like she said, it's totally fine if it is unfinished. Mm -hmm. We are flying <laughs> through this right mm -hmm. now. And let me tell you, I'm gonna look at this later and be like, wow, these are eight things we could have done differently. Or probably more like 80, mm -hmm. but. Um, so here's a quick question for you, or maybe anyone that wants to weigh in. Mm -hmm. How do we feel about like doing a button or something like that, rather than like an icon with a? So mm. I don't know. What do you What do you think? I don't know. So the button, and like I feel it's like not going to go like, there. Push it, but then I can also like deselect. But I guess I could do that with the. And maybe other it's thing. like it has like a checked in once yeah. you've like done it. Yeah. So I kind of like the check icon. Okay. Okay. So you're you're feeling more like this. I like yeah. Okay. But I don't know. What do you all think in the chat? <laughs> I almost feel like it doesn't feel quite as clickable yet. Mm -hmm. So maybe we just need to like give it an underline or something yeah. like that. I don't know. I don't. Eh, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? You think maybe button? Maybe add. Put. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> if like an icon is too much in the button. Yeah, I think I this one would probably be too much in the button. Yeah. But I bet you that we could remove that. Mm -hmm and then go with like a button with that in it. Yes. Um, Anna saying, <laughs> sorry to cut off your singing. Um, <laughs> Anna is saying, as someone who hikes a lot and does a fair amount of outdoor, outdoor activities, I think knowing the difficulty level as well as reviews are important. Mm-hmm. Nice, very true. And she also says you wouldn't want to expect a beginner trail and it ends up being advanced. Yep. I hear you. Mm -hmm. um, I wow. Don't use that color. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. We grabbed this one earlier. Oh, uh, Saru is asking about the Discord. Maybe we can quickly show the Discord link to anyone that wants to join. Um, it is, oh, thank you. So it's bit.ly slash XD Discord, and it's a capital X and capital D. So if you head over to this link, um, you can join the Discord. So you should do that if you haven't joined already. It's a great time. Drop right. Oh, thank you to in. Sam for sending the link in the chat as well. Is this is this Sam from, is this Sam Peterson? Thanks, yes. Sam. Yay. <laughs> I, he joined us for a little bit yesterday, yeah. and his session, if you guys haven't seen it, is awesome. Yay. It's Absolutely amazing. awesome. <laughs> um, so go check him out. He's great. Thanks. Yeah. We've never met. I'm just you know, right. I've seen you. Yeah. I'm, you're now seeing me. I feel like it makes the same yeah. time, right? I don't know. Uh, Morgan um, says Kendall is suggesting the pencil slash edit feature to be a my trail notes feature with the ability to share publicly or keep private. Mm. Ooh, I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have like some personal notes that you don't want anyone else to know. That's a good feature. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna add this like checked in mm -hmm. button, right? Mm -hmm. And so then it would like switch from check in to checked in once you've done nice. it. I, I felt like it was an okay idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a good idea. <laughs> Thanks, Melody. Yeah. Someone someone thinks that I've got some decent suggestions every <laughs> once in a while. 
Um, okay, so that is definitely not center. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you're like, oh man, I thought I hit center, mm -hmm. I did not hit center. Yeah. Then you just kind of question your life choices. <laughs> um, okay, maybe we yeah, yeah, yeah. we can maybe make it smart. We'll leave mm -hmm. it there for now. Yeah. Um, we'll we'll go away from it and then come back to it and then we'll decide we don't like it and we'll move some stuff around and we'll be good. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got seven minutes and fifty eight seconds and Ooh. I have no idea how much we can get through in that amount of time. Um, uh -oh. But let's <laughs> let's just see what we got. So we've got the what you can do. We've got compatibility. Um, great views is definitely not that. Um, it should be compatibility, good for kids. Um, and then let's put dog friendly. Um, and then we have the option to add tags. Great. Um, and then we've got what you will see. Um, somewhere we've got to throw difficulty in here, because um, that's been mm -hmm. brought up a couple yeah. times. And maybe we do like a dual, like difficulty and then like popularity mm -hmm. right there, yeah. right? So, um, am I typing? It's in white. <laughs> <laughs> I had like a that brief moment yeah. of panic of like, mm -hmm. what, what? what has my computer done? <laughs> How, how am I freezing right now while we're live? No one's gonna wanna watch us talk about <laughs> nothing for the next 10 minutes. Um, it's actually like seven, but still. Yeah. Difficulty. Um, and we'll call it, um, what, we, we've had like a couple questions yeah. about this, right? Um, so like, let's maybe go um, intermediate for now. Mm -hmm. um, I have many thoughts about whether or not this is like a decent like word or phrase mm -hmm. or like what could be better. Yeah. So if you guys have suggestions for language, um, feel free to drop it in the channel because we've been talking about, you know, does it make sense to just say easy or mm -hmm. advanced yeah. or intermediate? Like what does intermediate mean? Because mm -hmm. it's that like broad in yeah, between. Exactly. So I would love to hear what you guys have for words mm -hmm. um, because I think that it's probably gonna be better than what I'm coming up with on the fly. <laughs> um, usually we'd like think about this mm -hmm. and then like, talk yeah. about it and the whole thing. Mm -hmm. We did not do that. We are doing this live yeah. with no We prep. want your feedback, so let us know. Yeah, um, and then the same with popularity, right? Um, what do we want to call that? Like, eh, we talked um, about like a graph. Maybe we'll just yeah. do a graph for that. Yeah. Maybe we'll just do That'd a graph, fun. a little bar chart. Um, <laughs> something like that. Or we did talk about, I don't know, let me know. We talked about doing like, 200 people a day, mm -hmm. or like 500 people a day, or something, like just something yeah. so you can know. Like so, a number? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you guys let me know. That feels kind of long. It does. <laughs> Woo! Then, like, yeah, and then, I don't know how you would like shorten that, because mm -hmm. people per day isn't very common. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Could you do a star rating almost, with circles to uh, fit the mood a little bit more? Mm -hmm. Ooh. So are you thinking like, Josh, are you thinking like the, the more circles, it's like more, the more popular it is? Because mm -hmm. if so, I'm like really on board with that. Yeah. I feel like that's a really good good way to do it. And maybe that's what we do for difficulty. Oh yeah. Maybe it's just like out of like, oh, maybe it's out of four or five. That's a good and idea. And so like, and then it's not like a three, right? Yeah. Where you have like easy, intermediate, advanced. Mm -hmm. You have like easy, like mildly easy, like mildly mm -hmm. hard, hard, hard. Yeah. Josh, Ooh. saving me, <laughs> saving me Dang. over here. Um, Sar is asking, can we post a screenshot in the design feedback channel? And yes, you can post a screenshot, or if you have the prototype on XD with the link, you can post that, or um, whatever you have, you can definitely post that in the design feedback channel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, Ayushi is saying 200 slash day. Yeah. But then also 200, like I would think like 200 what a day? Yeah, I think that would be my struggle mm -hmm. there too. Yeah. Um, but I, I like the circles. I idea. like where we're going and with it. And you can it. use it for both mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. You're so right. Melody's just reading my mind today. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. We're on a roll. I'm so glad that Howard told me you're not a designer if you don't make sound mm -hmm. effects because like, I'm starting to feel <laughs> yeah. like, I wouldn't call it self-conscious, right? But like every once in a while you're like, wow, okay, self. <laughs> um. 
Uh, okay, um, so we'll go popularity. This one we'll call pretty popular because there's mm-hmm. a waterfall. Yeah. Um, oh, everyone and, wants to go. Yeah, everyone wants to go there. Um, and we'll say, um, how difficult are you feeling? I would do like one and a half. That's oh, for me. Oh, see, okay, I'm gonna be honest. Mm. I didn't even think about like oh. half sizes. This is great. <laughs> Yay. Oh, this is such a good feature because yeah, now you can actually like really get into like, how difficult is this mm-hmm. gonna be? Am I gonna wanna die halfway through? <laughs> Am I gonna be embarrassed because kids are gonna be like destroying me mm-hmm. in this? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Maybe you can do like a mask with the shape to get like the half. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think that's an that's excellent idea. And let's fill up this. Oh my gosh, two minutes and 30 seconds left. How are we gonna make it? I don't know. No, no, no. Oh crap. Command shift M. Thank is you. the keyboard shortcut. Oh. I think I want it. <laughs> Reversed. Yay. Cool. And then I think we're probably still gonna wanna put like maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, put that underneath. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. Mm-hmm. Boom. Yay. Look at that, I like guys. That. I really mm-hmm. like this. Yay. This is like, this is coming together as like a whole, whole little page. I'm all about it. Um, Let's check the layout, cause that looks a little far. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I think I'd have these like memorized by mm-hmm. now, but we're just mm-hmm. we're rolling with yeah. it. We're doing okay. whatever we want to do. But the rest of this is lined up pretty well. So well Tanya has a good suggestion. How about using a hiking shoe logo instead of circles? That would be Ooh. excellent. <laughs> I don't know that I can knock that out in a minute and a half. <laughs> but I think that like maybe like in iteration round yeah. two, um, when we yeah, do um, our bear safety mm-hmm. oh, um, yeah. <laughs> class, I think that should 100% be what we do. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so we are checked in for our trail. We are gonna go for two hours, hike uh, 728 feet and go 4.7 miles. Um, we are gonna maybe mountain bike, probably not. Mm-hmm. Um, we could go trail running, <laughs> definitely not. Um, but we're gonna hike. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's good for kids. It's good for dogs. It's too far away from the other bu- bubble, but we'll mm-hmm. fix it. Um, and then what you will see, what did what did we have in here? We had waterfall, Water. right? Yeah. Um, and then what else we got in here uh, in this last thirty-eight seconds? Oh. Um, um, maybe some great views. Yeah. Most okay. thinking views. Views. Mm-hmm. Cool. We'll knock it out. Yay. Get them in there. All right. Let's see if we can make it. Probably not. That's okay. So I love that I can like type in like just a minus Mm -hmm. or a plus or a multiply by because it just makes it so much faster to actually design. True. All right. I don't think I'm gonna make it in the next seven seconds, <laughs> but there might be some like behind the scenes Ooh. magic that happens that allows me to magically f- have this resize to the correct dimension <laughs> by the time we're done. Yay! Oh! Done. Well, done, done, done. Yay! Good job. I knew you could do it. Thank you. I'm so glad you believed <laughs> <Yay>. in me. <laughs> so it is time for design feedback. Yay! Okay, so I am on our Adobe XD Discord channel and I'm in the design feedback channel, which is where you will be posting your designs as you go along the XD Daily Creative Challenge, which started today with day one. Um, And then let me show really quickly what today's theme or topic is. And the theme is a music creation app and today's challenge is to design the home screen and to turn your buttons and elements into components so you can use them later on. So if you are New to the challenge, you can join on behance.net slash challenge slash XD. Click on the blue register button, which I've already clicked on, and then you can get started with the challenge. So let me go back into Discord and, ooh, we have another one. Okay, cool. So we're going to review what people have done. So let me open this. Okay, cool. Mm. This looks nice. Mm Mm-hmm. I like the icons, and mm-hmm. I, I really like the blue color. It's like calming. Yeah, I almost feel like maybe those icons, I love how big they are, but maybe mm-hmm. either give the rectangle like a little bit, 
more height and mm. width or like shrink the icons. I feel mm. like that first one, that create, is getting really close to the edge on the left and on the right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But the rest of them feel like they can breathe. So maybe you just um, tweak some of that. Mm -hmm. I would agree with that. And then I also like how you are labeling what the icons represent. Mm -hmm. Because for something like a music creation app, people aren't really used to seeing maybe what these icons represent. And so these aren't super familiar to people. So I like how you labeled them. Oh, Carlos says that's mine. Yeah. Oh, yay. Hey, Carlos. Um, yeah. I think making sure you label things are always mm -hmm. uh, is always really, really important. Yeah. Right? You want to make sure people aren't just like guessing what yeah. they're looking at. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, cool. Um, reset files. files. Cool. Discovery. Maybe could you like maybe there's like a icon or something like that, like a file icon in there. Mm -hmm. um, just like I feel like we have a lot of icons going on with like the discover and the click access. Maybe just mm -hmm. like add another one in there because it feels like it's those buttons. Or yeah. maybe um, maybe just drop like a, a underline or something under there. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, kind of like how you were you changed your button style to mm -hmm. align. Yeah. Yeah, maybe yeah. just something like to break it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I like it though. Me too. Yeah, Sarah's saying love the home button. Me too. It looks mm -hmm. cool. And I like how you were doing something different when showing the selected icon. So instead of like filling it in, if it's outlined, you have this cool little background that mm -hmm. also like matches what you have up here. So mm -hmm. really cool. I also love the logo up top. Yeah. That's really, really cool. It is really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yeah, this, this is was great. Awesome. I'm good. I like it. I'm excited to see what you'll do on the following days. This looks really awesome. Yeah. Yay. What else have we got? Let's see. So we have this one from Kells. Let's open it up. Mm. Ooh. Is that, can you zoom in? Are the headphones made out of uh Oh. That's cool. It's like a, the, it's like if you were thing? to visualize yeah. like audio, like a yeah. little crackling. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, that is really cool. I really, really <laughs> like that. Sign up, login. Cool. I like this a lot. Me too. This is cool. Mm -hmm. and you like space everything really nicely and you have mm -hmm. this clear call to action mm -hmm. and the logo. I really like the logo. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Could you like maybe put like the sign up on like a color? Um, oh, yeah. Like I like the mm -hmm. white, uh, mm -hmm. but I, I love the colors of the confetti that you yeah. have up top and I sort of feel like you could pull one of those down mm -hmm. and that would be really fun. Yeah, I agree. Even that like mm -hmm. pink that you have in that falling confetti like down yeah. low. Um, oh, so yeah, it's because right it's like down there. Bring that down into that. Cool. Yeah. yeah, it's That'd like dropping fun. into the little button. Yeah, I think oh, no. we can definitely do that. Yeah, I like it a lot. Yes. Yeah, it looks really cool. Okay, and then this one I believe is from a previous challenge, but I was scrolling through and I didn't see any for today um, that have been shared. So we can look at this one really quick. So a previous challenge, I think this is two challenges ago, was a uh, like video player app. Mm. So this, ooh, I think I, did I zoom into? Okay, no, I didn't. <laughs> so this is like this the is cool. landing page, I think. It looks really nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the things that I always love with like movie apps or anything mm -hmm. like that is like, you can get so visual with yeah. it. And it's really, really cool. I love this. Um, the only thing is maybe um, maybe go a little bit darker with the overlay that you have back mm -hmm. there so that you can see like the outline of Chris Pratt's face as he's like mm -hmm. very intensely holding yeah. it down. <laughs> um, so you can see like that player yeah. a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise I love this. Yeah. I love the colors. Me too. The yellow like really pops. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks yeah. for sharing Kevin Kelly. Yay. <laughs> this looks really cool. Yeah. So one question I think I have is mm -hmm. like, is it like a lighter yellow if like the background is darker on that like Aladdin versus like the John Wick 3? Oh. I don't know. Maybe it's intentional. Maybe I'm just like seeing things. Uh, but yeah. This looks really nice. Mm -hmm. I, you used great pictures. Mm -hmm. Oh, inspired by Netflix from Saru. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. Yay. This is great. Can you zoom back out oh. for a quick second? Yeah, no, you're fine. <laughs> okay, yeah, I just wanted to make sure we didn't see it, miss anything. Yeah, this is great. This is really cool. Mm -hmm. If you guys haven't shared your uh, daily challenges mm -hmm. for today's challenge yeah, with us, make sure you do. We'd love to see what you're working Let's see on. see if anyone, no one else has submitted. Um, let me 
do like a quick scroll. I don't know. No. Okay. So no one else has submitted for today, which is understandable. The challenge was only released at 8 a.m. But we can look at one from the challenge that I hosted last mm. week. So we can look and see. Let's see who this one. This one is from Alex. Alex Design. So let's see. So the theme from last challenge was a food delivery app. Oh. Which I, I love food, food delivery. Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, I live so like. See what, four blocks away from like my favorite sushi place, which is just really dangerous. Oh my God, I would And so love every that. day I'm like, I'm just gonna walk the dog and stop <laughs> by sushi. here and pick Yay. up the food and take nice. it home. <laughs> That's so convenient. Oh, it's so convenient and nice. it's so, so good. Yay. Okay. Okay, cool. Mm. All food. And this is honestly, <laughs> like it just name. appeals to me yeah. instantly. I know exactly what I'm, awesome. what I'm getting. I like how you displayed it right mm -hmm. here. Like mm -hmm. Avenir, everyone Yay! is loving Avenir. Yeah. I don't know what I love it, is. it. I used Avenir when I was designing my app last week. <laughs> I just love it. It's a great, great font. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's fun. And it, it has so many different weights. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that's why another reason why I love it so much. So I love that we're using orange in here because like if you heard um like McDonald's uses red because red makes people mm -hmm. hungry. Yeah. And it's the same with like Wendy's. So like mm -hmm. the orange is similar because yeah. it's that bright color mm -hmm. that makes people like, like food. want food. Yeah. And I'm nice. very hungry now, Yay. so thank Me you too. for that. <laughs> Yay. Home, Home screen. screen. Nice. User research. Yay. Nice. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Yay. This looks awesome. Welcome to fast food. Mm -hmm. Sign up. Yay. The only thing I wonder, that is orange sort of looks hard to read from mm -hmm. here. Yeah, like I, I can say. read it, but... You might want to just check yeah. the contrast on that. Yeah. I do like that it's in a different color than mm -hmm. um, the rest of it, but yeah. Yeah, maybe you can, instead of having it orange, you can just have it like bold and then white so mm -hmm. it's easier to read. Mm -hmm. But you can still kind of see what city it's delivering to. Yeah. Or maybe if you like flipped it out and that like mm -hmm. thing up top was in white, then like you could Ooh, do that orange yeah. or the blue mm -hmm. in there. Yeah. Maybe. True. This looks awesome. Mm -hmm. Sorry, let me just go back to regular view. Order history. Yay. I like how you're explaining why you did your design decisions. And that was one thing I talked about on the last stream I did for the challenge is to really explain why you made these decisions because I think that people looking at your portfolio would really like to see why you designed something. Yeah. And I think it's, it's nice that you kind of have little bullets because people don't want to read like Long paragraph, so it's like it's really nice that you broke it up like this. So awesome job! Yeah, but it's definitely important to show like the mm -hmm. why and yeah. not just like I Here did it. Is. Yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. Like we call mm -hmm. it like the big reveal, where like Ooh. you go behind the curtain <laughs> yeah. and then you're just like ta da, uh -huh. which is like the opposite of what like <laughs> clients want because mm -hmm. everyone wants to feel like they're involved in the process. But yeah. then when you have it for a portfolio, like mm -hmm. you want to feel like you're part yeah, of that process exactly. too. So like take them back through. So mm -hmm. good job. Yeah, this looks great. Ooh, sushi. Place your order. Yeah, now we're talking about sushi. Oh, oh they knew. <laughs> they knew. <laughs> nice search and filter. Mm hmm Cool. Ooh, that burger shake. looks We were talking about that great. yesterday. Yeah, that we does were. look amazing. Oh, man. Nice. This looks really, really good. Yeah. Awesome job. Marketing. Cool. Okay, okay. Ooh, I like how you showed the different variations of the promotion. Mm hmm Like the smaller view or the big view. Mm-hmm. Great job. Place order. Simplify the process so we can complete it in a shorter amount of time. That's nice. what we like yeah. to see. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're ordering food and you're hungry. You just want to get through things really quickly. Yeah, it looks like someone has a question about um, what the daily challenges are, right? So like today's the home screen and by the time the challenge is done, you'll build the whole app, right? Yes. So that's, yeah. so we're doing another progressive theme, which is, so you'll basically start with the home screen and then each day you'll design a different part of the app. And then at the end, you will have a full project to show like how they are showing, um, I think this was Alex, how they're showing um, their design like from start to finish, you'll have mm -hmm. that at the end of this two weeks. So the challenges are really great if you want to add a project to your portfolio and just practice um, different things with design, so. Yeah, it's always yeah. a good idea to like 
have something that's mm-hmm. pushing yeah. you every single day exactly. to keep building something. Yeah. And it's it's hard to come back every day and continue on the design. So it's really amazing to see everyone working really hard on these designs and doing such an amazing job. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and if you join late, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, there's no like harsh time limit, um, but so we have like the two weeks and then last challenge, the, the challenges change to this challenge. So the food delivery prompts are not available anymore, but if you go to Alex's page, you can see all of his. And I'm still working on my finished portfolio. It should be up, or my Behance project, I mean, for this. And it should be up and I'll have all the prompts on there as well. But yeah, so you don't have to do it in one day. You can work on it throughout the two weeks. If Mm -hmm. you get feedback on our Discord channel, you can change and all that good stuff. Totally. What do you need help with? Cool. Awesome. The other thing that like confirmation, I might make Mm -hmm. it like that drop shadow a little more obvious because like on the far right at the first glance, it looks like we've cut something off and like I see it as a pop up, Mm -hmm. but maybe maybe move the drop shadow like up a little bit or Mm -hmm. make it a little more spread out like up that blur. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Order status. Mm. So, because <laughs> I love food delivery. <laughs> um, there in college, there's this place called mm. Insomnia Cookies. I don't know if it's out here, but we have it in Denver, and it's mm, amazing. Really um, and they had like an order status for cookies, and so it was like you could watch it, and it was like if you ordered cookies, it was mm. like the dough has been rolled, the cookies are in the oven. Oh your cookies have exited the oven, like they're on your way to <laughs> oh you. And God, like I just amazing. remember we'd be opening it, and we were like bake. Yeah. Faster. <laughs> that's like me with um, Domino's. If you have ever ordered yes. on the app, it's like your pizza's in the oven. <laughs> yes. I just feel like it yeah. makes you feel like you're part of the process. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So really I love fun. this. Like received, prepared, out for mm-hmm. delivery, arrived, yeah. done. I know. Awesome. Like I'm not waiting for someone. Yeah. That is hasn't mm-hmm. even left yet. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yay. Awesome. I love these mm-hmm. little illustrations. I love the illustrations. Yeah. I love the color in them. Me too. That purple reminds me of the purple that we're yeah, using. Yeah, it does. So, um, hey. obviously, I like that purple. <laughs> nice. Ariana says, I love watching my pizza process. Yes, me mm-hmm. too. <laughs> that is, it's important. You gotta know. Yeah. A cookie tracker is needed in Howard's life, and <laughs> yes. I could not agree more. <laughs> Yay. Cool. So, this is the delivery map. Ooh. So they know when their order is coming. Mm-hmm. I nice. love this, yeah, right? It's sort of so like cool. the like Lyft yeah. or Uber like icon. Mm-hmm. Like you can see how far they are. Yeah. So like if you live in an apartment and they're like mm-hmm. around the corner, you yeah, know that you need down. to go downstairs. Yeah. Like I exactly. don't have to call you. Like you know they're, yeah. they're right there. Oh my god, how I feel so bad. Like sometimes they'll call me and I'm like almost down. I'm like, oh my god, I'm coming right now, and I feel really bad like making them wait because I know like living in a city, it's. I don't, it's hard to find parking yeah. and I feel terrible. Yeah. I already feel bad that they're like delivering my food, <laughs> even though it's so nice, but I just, I like to make things easier for them. Yeah, so maybe <laughs> like even to add to that, maybe mm-hmm. there's like an alert yeah. once they're within like, Ooh. like whatever like the two, two minutes, minutes is yeah. or like whatever that radius would mm-hmm. be that's like, your food's almost here, yeah. come down and get it. Yeah, that's so, like, a good idea. Yeah. Ooh. Especially if it's something as important as pizza or cookies. Mm-hmm. Additional views. Oh, you designed extra screens. Hey. That's awesome. Yay. I like that. Me too. All food. Ooh, and then this is like the onboarding. Mm. I really like this. This looks awesome. Oh, I'm so glad we haven't been working on a food app all day. <laughs> He's so hungry. <laughs> yeah, I was hungry like every day or every time I was doing my stream videos because it was all just pictures of food. Yeah. But I loved it. <laughs> yeah. Yay. I love it. Looks awesome. great. Awesome. Great job, Alex. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's check really fast and see if anyone else has submitted. No, that's okay. Um, let's see if there's one more. This one is not related to Daily Creative Challenge. So maybe we can do oh, this one. Yeah. Food delivery app round Yay. two. Everyone <laughs> is still gonna be hungry. Yes. Ooh. Okay. So this one's from Min. Adobe XD challenge. Ooh. I love like the rounded edges on all of those pictures. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Food delivery. Yeah. Nice. This is good. I like um 
like the background that this whole mm. thing is yeah, on. Me like too. the marble the countertop. Marble, it looks yeah. nice. With like some food in the, like on both sides. This is mm-hmm. really good. Yeah. I like this. Ooh, I like oh, and this. it keeps flowing. Yeah. I oh, love this, this is excellent. Plates. Yeah. This is excellent, then. Shall users passed mm. orders? So the only thing I might say here is like we have two orange things. Mm-hmm. So my mind is going Pizza Express price, Pizza Express price. So mm-hmm. maybe figure out like what the most important thing mm-hmm. is, and then either like make one of them like a more subtle orange or something mm-hmm. like that, so I know like exactly what I yeah. should be looking at. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. Ooh. Oh man, this all looks so good. Uh, I would maybe make these a little bit bigger. It's kind of hard to see all the detail. Like I can't mm-hmm. really, maybe, let me try zooming in. Maybe this will change things. Um, I still can't really read what these say, mm-hmm. like the, the tags. Yeah. So maybe you can make it a little bit bigger. Or maybe add like another phone screen next to it. Yeah. So like you have it the same size. Mm-hmm. Or like do one of those like right off to the side right next mm-hmm. to it maybe. Yeah. yeah. I think that would be good. Yeah, because that's, I I think it says search suggestions or top mm-hmm. categories, top categories maybe. Categories, yeah. Um, so like that would be really, really cool to see mm-hmm. how that works. Yeah. Agreed. Nice. Marketing. Marketing. I love that you've used like images in this too, because mm-hmm. I feel like it sort of feels like natural and like yeah. part of the experience, mm-hmm. and it's not like this really obvious like I am an ad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Use me. <laughs> exactly. See me. Interact with yeah. me. This pizza looks really good. <laughs> All this food looks mm. right. Place an order. Okay. Yeah, so maybe the same thing here, like maybe add like two screens or like mm-hmm. add a couple. Maybe it's just like the flow is like you've got one and then you have like three bigger screens mm-hmm. like yeah, across like, like below it so mm-hmm. it's all part of the same flow. Yeah. Maybe just so we can actually see like all of the work you've put into this. Yeah. It's poor. Mm-hmm. I love this. I love the icons. Mm-hmm. I love how like bubbly they are. Yeah. They're very fun. Mm-hmm. Order. Cool. I like how you have this like estimated arrival at the top and then the delivery address. Uh, one thing we talked about was how to change the address in case you're, you enter the wrong address and your food is being delivered. Mm, and that's you, important. I think that was this support day. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so it's really important to think about what if something goes wrong with your app and how can you do, like what can you do to make the user Like, I don't know, make it easier for them to continue using your app. Yeah, I think we talk about that a lot in design Mm -hmm. just in general, right? It's like, it's so easy for us to design for like the like happiest or Mm -hmm. easiest path. Um, But you have to think about like, where are you sending people when things go Mm -hmm. wrong? Like, you can't just send them to like a 404 page. Mm -hmm. Like, so so what do you do? do? How do you get them back on track? And how do you make them feel like even that negative experience Mm -hmm. is a positive experience? Exactly. Yeah. Nice. Hey, she's cool. got what I was uh, talking about with that arriving in yeah. how many minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Love it. Yay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, and I like how you said motorbike mm-hmm. and then the license plate. And I think one thing I mentioned was a lot of times I don't know what kind of vehicle the delivery person is arriving mm-hmm. in. Like if it's a bike or a car. Sometimes I think it's a car and then someone like someone has walked up to me with the food and I don't know where they parked. And another time they came on a bike. And I was like, oh, I was not expecting a, right. a bike. Right. <laughs> but okay. Yeah, that's really, really yeah. good to think about. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome. This looks great. great. Yay. Okay, so. Let's, there's no new submissions, but if you're still working on your designs for today, I highly encourage you to share them in the design feedback channel. We have some mentors that are giving feedback. I'll be in there giving feedback um, all throughout the day. And then as well as we have our moderators, Adobe people, some great people online giving feedback. So even if you're not done, if you just have a screenshot, please share it. I'd love to see it. And yay, thank you to everyone who shared what you've been working on. It was really awesome to see. Yeah. Yay. So we have like five minutes left. So oh, maybe, man. Yeah. I don't know. Want to do an overview? Yeah, maybe can do an we've... overview. Let's yeah. let's talk about what we did, maybe. and then like we can make some like maybe some quick updates over here. Um, we did not get to our app logo. Oh, that's okay. <sighs> But it's okay, we got through a lot of other stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so in, in the future, there will be a beautiful 
beautiful logo. Maybe mm-hmm. it's the shoe here. Yeah, I, don't I was know. thinking of the hiking shoe. Okay, okay. <laughs> so yeah. we've got a we've got a great little logo here. Um, we've got a uh, find the best trails for you near you. It's mm-hmm. just pretty pretty straightforward. And as I'm looking at this, you know what this page <laughs> needs is a some button. buttons. Yeah. Oh, this is the joy of like working live mm-hmm. on things and not planning ahead of time. <laughs> it's cool. It's fine. We're making it work, everyone. Yes. We're just gonna quick detour. Boom. Remove the fill. And we have a button. Yay. That Open was out. really fast. <laughs> Boom. Um, so we've got our um, sign up or log in options. Um, we've got our button that lives in the component mm-hmm. section now. So if we need to use it somewhere else, we can just drop that in. But maybe we make this as like a secondary button component mm-hmm. that like we now yeah. have and care about. Um, so once we do that, um, so we have a few questions that we're gonna um, ask to get to know our users. Mm -hmm. Um, So we ask, how often do you hike? And since this is Melody's app for today, um, (laughs) she's decided that she'd like to get out more. Um, So once you've selected that, um, you can continue on. Um, Then we've got, um, what are your hiking needs, right? So this is that sort of like suitability Mm -hmm. and compatibility that we Mm -hmm. talked about. So we want something to be dog friendly, good for kids, wheelchair accessible, close to transit, campsites. Melody just wanted close to public transit. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're rolling with. Um, so what would you like to see on this? Um, we talked about what happened to this check mark. <laughs> um, we talked about how um, you know you want to sort of know what you're getting yourself into, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Um, so she wants to see some water. Um, one to two deer. We had no <laughs> bears. Yeah. Um, but one to two deer seemed a little more specific, so mm-hmm. we switched that one out. <laughs> um, and then we had views. Uh, we talked a lot about, like, not saying like great views mm. or like excellent views or yeah. iconic views, like just keeping it really straightforward mm-hmm. and letting people know what they can see. Um, then we've got what activities do you want to do? Um, she wants to picnic, mm-hmm. so we're gonna do some picnicking. Definitely. We're gonna mm-hmm. do some hiking. I think we're gonna swim, yeah. like maybe under the waterfall yeah. and like have a Ooh, mermaid moment. Right? That sounds amazing. <laughs> right. Um, so then we have the see your trails so that we can actually see mm-hmm. what we're doing. Um, so we've got this this landing page. So we've got a for you section is what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, the option to explore, um, do some favoriting, um, and then a profile. Um, so we've got, and I just had a thought while I'm doing this, so we're just gonna Ooh. forgive me as I <laughs> as I move some stuff around. But um, oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. okay, you see where I'm I going. I see where you're going with this. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, bye. Sam says any more than two deer, and she's giving the hike a bad review. <laughs> That That's sounds funny. pretty pretty accurate. Maybe. Um, yeah, so we've got just sort of two options that Melody might be interested in. Uh, we have Bee's Knees Trail, and then we have Buffalo Creek. And so we might give Melody the option to Ooh. favorite these. Yeah, I just thought nice. about that. Because um, we have favorites down here. Mm-hmm. Um, and then a profile. And so when you open up this Bee's Knees Trail, um, we can see that you've checked in for the trail. You've mm-hmm. got your difficulty and popularity ratings. You can see what you can do. You can add some tags. Um, see the compatibility. See what you'd see. Um, and then see what pictures have been recently Yay. taken on this trail. Nice. Right? I feel like it's pretty yeah. pretty good. Um, these were our former um, compatibility <laughs> icons. Yeah. They're gone. Okay. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to Yay. focus on that. Awesome. I think Yay. We did it. Yeah, you did an awesome job. Thank you so much, Brittany, for joining us these past two days. Yeah. It's been so awesome to see this hiking app come to life. It has been so fun. I cannot Yay. wait to come back for round two of yeah, creating our bear, bear safety yes. app. <laughs> everyone petition Brittany to come back for the bear safety. Yay. Oh. A big thank you to everyone in the chat for joining us and sharing all of your great suggestions for the app. Um, and Brittany, do you want to share where people can follow you on social media? Yeah, you can find me um, at Brittany Yurick on social media if we want to, like, yeah, at Brittany Yurick on social mm-hmm. media. My website is BrittanyYurick.com. Yeah. Um, you can follow me on Behance, too. So Yay. Yeah, everyone go follow her. Yeah. For sure. There I am. Yay. Awesome. It's been this great. Really great. Um, yay. Thank you, everyone. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.